best you can. Okay. I left off at like a beast. I was doing the Gosaku missions. Trying to find all the goods. But all the rest of the Gosaka stuff is up here, which wouldn't really make sense for me to do at the moment. Journey into the past is the DLC, so we don't want to do that. It looks like we'd kind of just head back down here. We'll head that way. We're just going to jump in and just keep going because I need to get this game done. We're just mobbing. We're heading for it. Oh, wrong one. Oh, wow. I forgot all the buttons. All right. That's fine. There he is. Definitely nice to be back on this game, though. Forget how amazing it is. You take a break from it. Jesus fucking Christ. Come and fight. Stand it off. dead all of them oh come on the detection on that hit that was a little bit dicky. thank you Fucking killed everyone there We got here. Supplies. Hold still. Let's see. Thank you, my lord. I was captured when the Mongols took Fort Imai. Uh, they needed an outpost. Easy access to the coast. Well positioned to supply their forces in Ortsna and Umugi. They broke through the fort's wall. Apparently, it's Khan, Danielson, Jericho, and Tony Savani who produced and wrote Dynamite tonight. It's obvious. It's obviously the Bucks and Kenny ain't there. That, hmm. I mean, it's not bad. I've been watching it so far tonight. It's definitely not bad. I'm looking at birds in the sky. I don't believe it. Oh God damn it! All right, all right. I was like, the young bucks getting knocked out by a 43 old man. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, who knows if any of this is real or like, I. There's still a piece of me that thinks it was a work. And if it's not a work, like, say, let's say it was a shoot. I think now it's being turned into a work. I think it's being turned into an angle. Like. I don't know. This is kind of interesting. I get it. Like, it definitely seems really interesting. The first night, it was like, oh my god, I can't believe he did this. But with all the silence and, like, stuff, it, it definitely seems like they're trying to work an angle out of this. I knew you'd find me, Sakai. What? Go, boy. What the fuck is this? Duel in the Drowning Marsh? What? What do you want to do here? Straw hats are cowardly traitors. Oh you shit. Deserve death. And samurai are spoiled hypocrites who steal glory from real warriors like me. I'll prove it. Come on then. 
We're just trying to fucking 1v1, dude? I didn't see that shit coming. I think what they've done with MJF was turned in was a shoot then turned into a work. I'll do the same here. I think um, Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I think I I still have a feeling that this was all just a work from the beginning. I have no proof of that in any way, but All right, I gotta change my yeah. Oh, I got dog oh. Oh, I just, yeah. It's been a bit since I've played. Give me a bit. We're gonna need a second here. I'm gonna get fucking destroyed a few times, probably. I'm literally having to relearn everything. Damn. All right. Still got my parries down, kind of. I dodged that, but fuck you, game. Jesus. Cut him up. Spicy, welcome back. I'm just cutting them up at the moment. Oh. No! God damn it, I hate that sometimes. Literally almost had him killed. Fucking son of a bitch. Oh, God damn it. Die again. Just kill myself again. This is fucking dumb. Jesus. Today wasn't the day to hop back in this game. That's for sure. I can already tell. Cool parry there, dude. Oh god damn it, I'm already pissed. Already pissed. Uh, I think like, I think Punk really hates the Elite though and Hangman Page. Definitely possible. Someone should have called Keith Lee into the room and everything would have been stopped. Eh. I don't think Keith Lee cares two shits about any of them. To take like a week break from this game and then like... <laughs> Come back to it is rough. You like hitting me there? That pisses me off. I, like, there's no way he hit me there. you soft then why are you out of breath i 
I hit him first. Fuck you. Small things, man. And just switch it up all the time, like. Probably just kill me again. Yeah, just kill me again. My main thing about this is like their patterns. Their patterns drive me fucking crazy. How far are you in the story? We are at the second area. I don't think we're in the second act, and I'm not even fucking technically having to do this right now. I always find funny, but. Love the parries, I really do. There's definitely just some things where you're like, all right, game, like, I don't know. See, what, where's the parry there? Just non existent, right? Even though you're showing me a parry to do. I just don't like that. Like, I, I'm too used to a game where when you hit dodge, it dodges. Like, to have it dodge and then say, oh, you were just a centimeter out. You should have been a little bit further out, you dumb little bitch. That's what annoys me. Like any other game, the dodge is a fucking dodge. And this, they're like, what? You lived your life in a castle. He made you soft. The more you out of breath. But those dodges were. I don't get it. I gotta figure that one out. Like, what they're considering, like, in that parry, ugh. Some of the things are just, ugh. That's how it makes me feel sometimes. Like, oh, that could have been better. Like, I'm just waiting for those at this point. Stop just... Gotta love them. But that works! Like, I don't understand how that works and the other one doesn't. Confusing as fuck!
Yep. It, so it's the dirt. Is that what they're saying? So I'm not getting hit by the sword. I'm getting a hit by dirt. Is that what they're fucking saying right now? And it's taking fucking that much health from me? Like. Mm, that's weird. The fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Farewell, Ronin. Do I get anything from that? Will you will you be streaming the Call of Duty campaign when it comes out? I don't know. I mean, maybe. That wasn't like an original plan. I mean, it's an interesting idea. I'm not a big Call of Duty campaign guy since fucking like probably like Black Ops. Yeah. I've just never... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm not mad at that idea, though. Oh, that always sucks. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I'll deal with you guys later. I need to go do this mission. I keep ignoring things. Saints Rothon on Xbox when that is possible now. I have every Saints Row game to play. The campaigns be short, but they're good though. I, I played the most recent Modern Warfare campaign. That was good. I enjoyed that. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I could play it. I'm just gonna be real with you though. Like these days, I do not play Call of Duties for their campaigns. <laughs> Although I will admit that, like I said, Modern Warfare's was pretty damn good. Um, yeah, it's not like my main thing. A Saints Rowathon is definitely possible, though. We now have all the things to do such a thing. Um, Red Dead Redemption One. There's definitely things we can play now. Damn, dude, running across this area fucking sucks. These marshes. Except the reboot, pretty much, yeah. I mean, like, I have the reboot. All I'm looking forward to is the new Warzone, to be honest. I, I'm, in, yeah, I'm interested to see how, what they do with that and what's the next step for Warzone. I, I definitely agree. But, uh, yeah. Saints Row, Red Dead. The Skate series. There's lots of games we could be playing. I mean, I'm definitely interested to see how it turns out. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I've enjoyed the last couple Call of Duties. Like, I've put in some time into them. Um, we'll just see how this new one plays off. GTA 4 Jizzy Gyms run when? <laughs> What's a Jizzy Gyms run? <laughs> We'd have to determine what that even is. Am I fucking here yet? Jesus Christ, the traveling in this game. Oh my God, I'm not even close. Ah! All right, keep it moving.
Search for Umugi Cove. Oh, now I'm sorry. This son of a bitch. Okay. Let's do that then. Oh, this looks like a cove. Look how fucking good I am. What up? The fuck is this place? Still going. Umagi Cove. Oh, it's just a town? Like, no one's trying to fuck with me? Halt, Ronin. State your business. I'm uh -oh. Ronin. My name is Jin Sakai. The samurai? Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of Umugi Cove. Please, come with me. This way, my lord. It's important you speak to the lady. I thought I was against the straw hats. Unless, like, there's different factions. Who am I talking to? Oh, okay. Lord Sakai, this is Lady Sanjo. Oh, what's up? You look like a uh, Korra. I see the Mongols haven't been fucking Avatar. Thankfully, no. There hasn't been bloodshed here for many years. Anyone who draws a. It'd be like looking at a museum. <laughs> Your safety is assured. Straw hat is Ryuzu people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, aren't... these guys got straw hats on. Tell me how I may help you. I'll tell you, all right. Smuggler named Goro. Oh shit, we're looking for Goro. That's fucking five or six arms or. having his third bottle of sake. Third bottle. Enjoy your visit with him. Thank you. Come see me again sometime. I respect the fuck out of that. We can help each other. Man, one of my neighbors is barbecuing. Oh, smells so good. I wish I had a barbecue. I do not have a barbecue though. And it makes me sad. I'm just going downstairs. Hiya. Lord Samurai. That's me. Please. I have a message for you. No messages. My voice machine is full. You must be Goro. Uh, we must all be someone. Damn. Who must you be? Lord Sakai. Ah, the samurai are all dead. Damn. I'm very much alive. But my patience is dying. Damn. Lord Shimura asks that you repay your debt to him. He's alive? What does he want? To deliver a message to the mainland. Uh, I charged a lot for that trip. Even before the Mongol blockade. You owe my master a debt. This will repay it. Then I have no choice. Damn. Uh oh. He's about to fight After me? Komaga Beach. Oh. I thought my debt to Lord Shimura was erased. That's why I was drinking. To celebrate your escape? To mourn the samurai. Those warriors died. Wait, where are you? Like me. Oh, it's you. I thought you were still sitting down. If that's how you feel, find your courage. Help us avenge them. We need a lot more samurai to do that. Damn right. Receive them when you deliver. Alright, I don't know what's going on in AEW right now, but I'm turning it off. Confusing me. Oh shit. Putting it down. Putting it down, Jack. This is my home. Come in. Why do they never open the... They gotta hold the door open for your boy. Come on, man. Past that Mongol blockade won't be easy. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? He has it. At his camp on the Akashima coast. Ah. Ah. I can work with that. 
Uh-huh. One of my boats is hidden near Fort Mitodake. This map shows where I'll wait on the forest road. Got that map. Open up, Goro. We're not leaving until you pay us what you owe. Is that so? And I'll leave you to it. See you in Akishima, Lord Sakai. Get out of here. Use hiding, Goro. Oh, no one's hiding, my friend. I didn't call for Ronin. Uh, my lord, what's your business with Goro? Private. We'll, we'll be back. Trying to fucking die, bro. Kuma? Kuma, where are you? I was trying to die. Do you need a new quiver or satchel? Wind chime capacity. Nah. May your hunt be successful. Meet Lord Shimmer at his old hunting camp. Oh my god. What's the closest thing? Probably here. Norio's here. Don't Jesus. Any other monks, the loading in this game is still mind bloating. Or blowing. Bloating. Okay, I, I make words. Fucking birds, dude. I have arrived. Oh, let me get them flowers up. At last. Oh. News. Yes, Lord Shimura. Ah, dude. I found Goro in Umugi Cove. Was he drunk? Not anymore. He will fulfill his debt to you and sail for the mainland. He may be unsavory, but few know the sea like Goro. Will these men deliver your message? Precisely. Kotaro and Jiro are loyal and courageous. I will petition the Shogun for reinforcements. Goro is ready. He will meet us nearby, then lead us to his boat. We will ride when the time is right. I have a feeling it's a trap. Take this moment oh. to prepare for battle. Uh. Yes, uncle. Oh, okay. We're preparing for battle. It is time. Oh, to it's your time. Horses, men. We are ready, my lord. Stay alert and keep watch for our smuggler. Where's my horse? Is my horse? Never tell any anymore. You know? I need a white horse. Black horse would be dope too. I think with my my gray stuff. Be... All right, where are we going? I can always tell when you want to ask me something. Out with it. I'm curious how you met Goro. I caught him selling Chinese silk, forbidden by Shogun decree. I burned his stock. And let him go. He could have been flogged, but you saw a better path. A skilled sailor can be a valuable asset. The Mongols have many ships. Can Goro evade them all? He has no choice. What will we do if they catch us, my lord? Do not fear death, Kotaro. Live with courage, and never forget the people you fight to protect. Lord Shimura! Goro, where is your boat? This way. I'm happy you're alive, my lord. I have a feeling this is a trap. What's wrong with the brown horse? Everyone got a fucking brown horse. I can't tell the difference. 
coastline. There are too many eyes watching the water. Perhaps we can direct their attention elsewhere. Even he has a brown horse. Dismount. We walk from here. Fort Mitodake. My father took that stronghold from Clan Yarikawa. Okay. Now the Mongols have it. Yeah, bitch. Imagine their surprise when two samurai take it back from them. If we make enough noise inside the mm. fort, the Mongol ship crews will look to it instead of the water. Goro, we will draw the enemy's attention to the fort. Sail when you hear the fighting. My lord, you will be killed. Your only concern is delivering my message. Horses might give us away. We will go on foot, Lord Sakai. Where we swim? Da -da. A nice boat. Mongol armies are formidable, but our attack will catch them off guard. Let's pray that holds true in the fort. They outnumber us, but they cannot attack all at once. How long can we keep the element of surprise? Only until we see the enemy. Then we strike. Mongols ahead. Oh shit, hella arrows. We could avoid them. Turn your back on a foe, and you will die with a sword stuck in it. So you're wanting to fight him? Or where? Oh yeah, you're you're down. All right. But now I can dodge it? I don't know, this game sometimes. Oh, I hit someone's helmet. Hey, I got him. Hey, got him. Yeah, I watched the Clash of the Castle. It was actually a pretty damn good pay-per-view for a WWE event. Some Dynasty Warriors shit right there. Man, Dynasty Warriors, what a great game. I <laughs> beside you, Jesus. See how the enemy fear you. You're a true warrior. Thank you, Uncle. Flash of the Castle is actually, yeah, it was a really good WWE pay-per-view. Um really think Drew McIntyre should have won the championship, but all in all, that was a pretty strong pay-per-view for, for them, I must say. Got 
God damn. Fucking. Fuck you, you little bastard. Ha <laughs> ha, I got him. Got him. I think Cody's going to dethrone Rowan. It's kind of looking that way, but I'm not sure. We have their full attention now. Kill them all. I can see Roman like losing the championship in like a sketchy way. And then like the actual match would be WrestleMania. But then again, I just can't tell what they're going to do for WrestleMania this year. Since it's in L.A., they're obviously going to do, like, a big celebrity thing. Probably bring, like, Bad Bunny and all that kind of stuff. But I'm wondering if The Rock will be involved because it seems like he will be. I'm wondering how The Rock would be involved. God damn, I keep miss missing shots that are literally just an inch off. Get the fuck back. They didn't even show a circle for that one. They're not showing the fucking circles for the. Mm. I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna run. That. Oh, now they did. Okay, cool. Thanks, game. Thanks for that one. The two that you know I got hit with. You're gonna keep on running. Fuck Mongol dogs. Fuck these dogs up, dude. These are the streets. Even though, you know, the targeting on these fucking things is really annoying, but fuck it. That is really annoying. Like, the targeting on those dogs is fucking retarded. It's not showing me any of the circles. I'm just not going to do that. If Rock versus Roman doesn't happen, yo, who let the dogs out? <laughs> How much health does this guy have? What the fuck was that? Fucking stab that guy like 15 times. Oh, they're still doing it. Okay. They're just grabbing the stuff, you know? They got all this supplies. Leader man. We just fucked that guy up real bad. Got the moon stance. I'm all moon the fuck up. What is moon stance supposed to like be? Like what's the strength to it? It's highly effective against brutes. Ah, uh, okay. Just big motherfuckers. All right. To the tower, push through. Well, we're about to take this whole fucking fort back. I totally jumped out of that way. That would have been some action movie shit. But... Can't shoot fucking things when you're dead, bro. What's up, dude? 
that shit out of here. There is Goro's boat. We bought them time, but not enough. The Mongols have seen them, and their attack ships are faster. Our men are defenseless. No, they have us. We have a Huacha. A weapon of the enemy, not samurai. Saving our people is all that matters. You know how to fire this. I'll learn. Destroy the Mongol ships. Oh Keep shit. The guards to me. Uncle. We will not die here, my boy. Time to do a zero mission. The Mongols sent boarding parties. Don't let their boats reach Goro. It's working. The Mongol ships are in flames. Don't let up. Goro must have done them. That's right, you bastards. Get the fuck out of here. Welcome back, No Limit. Marches on the shore. Slow down, Goro. Sucks to be those archers. I didn't know I was taking on the big boats. Problem. Yeah. Take out them big boats. Take out them big boats. Big boats. You made us go. Bring us the Shogun's help. Get us help! We help! I knew we would. Help! Continue to prove the Mongols are not unstoppable. You taught me to fight. I couldn't disappoint you. And you never have. I am proud of the warrior, the man you have become. Jin, my message to the Shogun included an announcement. I wish to formally adopt you as my son. Uncle. In my heart, you have always been the heir to my legacy. When this war ends, we will make it official. One day, our people will look to you as their leader. <clears throat> you will become their honorable Jito, backed by all the power of the Shogun. I hope I can serve them as well as you have. I know you will. We must finish our preparations while we wait for the Shogun's reinforcements. What are your orders? Reclaim your father's honor and recruit the people of Yarikawa. You see how they lie. I'll meet Hina and recover my armor from Omi Village. When you're ready, oh, we shit. Our staging camp in Kubala. Then we will retake my castle from Kotun Khan and save our home. As father and son, the Shogun himself will celebrate our victory. I don't like this. We will meet again soon. I don't like him. Until then, travel safely. I just have a feeling, man. Gonna betray me. Gonna do it. We'll drive them out. We have to. Good noble.
getting text messages. Um, well, a Marsh Rock Shrine. What is the Marsh Rock Shrine? This is just another. I liked Lord Shimmer and. Uh, there's pieces of me that can tell, man. I, I know a Lance Vance dance when I see one. And he looks like he's Lance Vance dancing. Oh, this is just like getting up to the location or something like that? Or... Is that what it's asking me to do? I don't know. Never tell what this game's asking me to do sometimes. Went that way, and then all right, keep moving. Like, it definitely feels I'm not doing this right now, I'm trying to do story missions. Um, I'm just keeping the story missions going. I get I can do a bunch of side stuff and. It will probably be good, but I got to get these missions done. I have so many flowers. It's insane. I have like 50 flowers. There better be something worth getting. With all them flowers. Yuna. Oh, okay. I haven't seen her in a minute. What's this blue one? The blades of... Oh. I thought I heard the musicians and I should find... What? Hmm. Erg. Now just keep the story mode going. I, I don't want to... I'm getting distracted again. Why are these people outside the town walls? The Mongols have surrounded Yarikawa. No one can get in. Recruiting Lord Shimura's old rivals was never going to be easy. But now... Now they need allies too. Think about Little it. Little out. We help them drive off the Mongols. And they help us. Probably good. I need their word before I fight for them. And Way better. Get into the city. Yes, we can. There's a hidden entrance. From when we were children. Even if it's still there, we can't reach it. We can reach anything. We can reach anything. We can scout for a way around the Mongol siege. What up, Bob? Welcome back. Good to see you. Just trekking our way through Tsushima, man. Trying to get her done. Strange being back after so many years. Everywhere I look brings back memories. And try not to look so hard. Were you here when the Yarikawa rebellion broke out? No. We left years earlier, when we were children. Did your parents move you? Something like that. That doesn't sound good. Oh. They're heading for town. Let them pass. They're clear. This way. Jordan Fire Red 3 is dropping soon. There hasn't been a lot of shoes I've been dying for. 
I saw that there was a pair of uh, Nike Sakai Cortezes. They were the Forrest Gump Cortezes. They look like uh, Forrest Gump 2072 Cortezes. Like they, they look kind of funny. I kind of liked them. I thought about those, but I couldn't do it. Yarikawa doesn't stand a chance. You know, where's the hidden entrance? It's been hard for me to buy shoes anymore, man. Like, I, I have way too many, and I have pairs of shoes that I haven't even worn. So, it's really hard for me to justify buying shoes at all. Yes, my lord. I don't see how we can make it to the river. We'll find a way. We're making it through the river. The walls won't keep this many Mongols out. Azamo Bay fell. Yarikawa will too. I know these people. They'll choose death before slavery. Good. That's what they're gonna have to choose. The Mongols. Draw them off. Please. No. Taka's right. Too risky. The hidden entrance used to be over there. You sneakerhead. I mean. I was at a point. Definitely was at a point. Once we reach the water, I had a couple of years of being deep into it. That's our plan? Sneak through the biggest Mongol camp I've ever seen? Then hope the secret entrance we used as children is still there? Stay close, Tucker. Count on it. Let's go. I can't believe I'm risking my life coming back to this dump. This was your idea. I need to prove my worth to your uncle. Earn us passage off this island. I loved it here. You were too young to know how it really was. Yariko was an ugly place for a girl without a handful of rice to her name. Is that why you left? No. Wait, so what's my... I'm just getting in here. I got us in trouble. Don't alert the Mongols of your presence. Lead. Taka and you could do... You know, to the river. That'd be super sneaky. That is a man on a horse right there. No one saw me. Nice bike indeed. Just follow Jin to the river. I made it to the river. One was a Yarikawa samurai, and the other was a, a a Shimura samurai, and Shimura always lost. Interesting choice. So, what are we doing now? Get in the bush. Probably why they've held out this long. When we get up there, let me do the talking. It's your hometown. Who are you? How did you get in? My brother and I were born here. Did the Mongols see you? No, but we're here to help you break their siege. First, tell me the name of the dead samurai you stole your gear from. He's not a thief. He's the ghost. The ghost? The ghost? I gotta see what I'll my cat wants. But mind your step. We're all armed here. Run and tell the steward right away. Ujimasa. That was the name of Lord Yarikawa's youngest son. But my uncle disbanded their clan when he defeated them. The family still runs things here. Unofficial. The uncle put down a rebellion and created a generation of people who hate Clan Shimura. Was weird. All right, let's see. I 
Okay. How in the world? The Mongols are crossing the bridge. You three, follow and stay close. What's going on? A disturbance at the main gate. That can't be good. It's their leader. Are they going to attack? Oh no, we're gonna fuck them up. That's what we're gonna do. Armor men, people of Yarika. I am Shemuke, leader of this war band. Uh huh. I learned your speech, so I may offer you a future. Damn. Open your gates before my camp flies the black flag, and you will know great mercy. Refuse, and you will know terrible misery. Good line. Choose your future, Yarikawa. They're leaving. Let's go. If Yarikawa surrenders, Lord Shimura won't get his army. Don't worry. They're too stubborn to surrender. And if they don't, it will be a bloodbath. They need my uncle as much as he needs them. United, we can beat back the invaders. People here have bad memories of Lord Shimura. Man, look at those stairs. No need to let go of the past. Easier said than done. Like, here's a question. When do stairs, like, and the ladders change? You know, is it the angle? You know, because that's like a fucking ladder. That's basically a ladder. And, but you could call it stairs, you know? Like, those are kind of stairs. I don't know. Yeah, it's just questions. These are the things that I need to know. All right. These are the things that matter. Wojimasa knows you're here. You two go ahead. I want to check on the sword skin. Pretty, pretty dope place you got here, bro. Lord Sakai. Ujimasa Yariko. I never thought Lord Shimura's nephew would be responsible for the ghost. You best be careful, or he'll punish you. As he punished my once great family for inciting rebellion against your Chito. That was years ago. We've all got bigger problems now. Who's this? Your servant? I was born here. Yet you're aiding Clan Shimura. No, I'm fighting for Lord Sakai. For the ghost. We can help break the siege outside your walls. In return, Lord Shimura requests your help. <laughs> the Mongols want to conquer the mainland. They will lose interest in us. And Yarikawa will survive. Like we always do. What an asshole. That could have gone better. Let's find Taka. Ujimasa is a fool. He can be convinced. The whole island's burning, and Yarikawa is next. If that doesn't convince him, nothing will. Taka used to visit this swordsmith every day. If there was any leftover metal, he'd let my brother pretend to make swords. The swordsmith remembered you? Shinsuke passed away. That's his son. How did it go? Ujimasa thinks they can outlast the siege. The smith told me all the best archers left to fight the Mongols. Against Ujimasa's orders. They've been missing for days. If we find these archers, they may help us break the Mongol siege. And win the town's support. Meet me in old Yarikawa when you can. We'll look for them there. And show Yarikawa how to fight back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Most filled up again. So still has the rock. The one you use to hammer out your swords? It's so small. In my memory, it's huge. You spent hours with him. I'd have to drag you away. I'll see you in old Yarikawa, Jin. Oh, wait, is wait, that was the mission? Keep it moving. Just keep it going. Just keep it going. Fuck it. Fuck it.
What? 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 Oh, I guess I went the wrong way, huh? I was going where the wind was blowing. The fuck? <laughs> Eli, welcome back. Right now, I'm just apparently fighting off a little bit more than I can chew right here. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. I was literally just tell going where the game was telling me to go. Like, come on now, game. Fucking Christ. Well, apparently don't go that way. And instead, just fast travel and fuck that shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just got machine gunned with fucking arrows. Like, the only annoying thing about that is that I literally just did a mission where you sneak through that area and then you try to go through that area again. They're like, yep, nope, can't do it. What are you, what are you, crazy? That's kind of funny, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Don't change the subject. You're celebrating Spider-Man's anniversary. Which, what? Like, Spider-Man's anniversary in general or like what? Anniversary of Spider-Man. I told him not to come. I wanted to help Lord Sakai. If I stayed in Yarekawa, I'd be useless. Better useless than dead. We're searching for missing soldiers. You're not trained for this. I can learn. And I won't get in the way. Fine. But be careful. And listen to your sister. Yes, my lord. Any sign of the archers? The locals have the seen original one. Area. Release was today, four years ago, huh? Let's look around. Yeah, I thought you were talking about just like Spider Man in general. I thought you were like saying like anniversary of Spider Man, not the video game. I see what you're saying though. Great game. Fun game. Yeah, that's what, yeah. It wasn't us. Examine the dead Mongols. All right. Where are they? Oh. Arrow wounds. Where are the arrows? Pulled out to reuse them. Sign of a skilled archer. Well, they're definitely dead. Search for tracks. Tracks. Three, four men. Can you tell where they went? Let's find out. We used to come here to catch crickets at least once a week. Kusaku's armor. I like that one. Yeah, I'm I'm working on getting it as I move up this map. No. To get you away from our mother. When she was angry and looking for someone to blame, the crickets kept you busy. Am I still following tracks or Oh, just right here. They do that so much to me in this game. Like I'm, I think I'm doing something. They're like, "Oh no, you, you were already done. What are you doing?" Favorite armor is shown deep into Act Two. Very nice. Okay, what, do, what are you doing to me right now, game? Uh huh. We turn to the tracks. Okay, they're still here. Even the game's kind of tripping. They're like, okay, yeah, all right. I'm gonna handle the tracks. The fucking tracks now. God damn it. Lead to this house. Didn't the samurai live here? You want a match against that traveling? Ah, 
Got him. I'm sorry. You have to be more careful. We should check the house. I'll look out here. Stop. Goes on mats. They've been sleeping here. At least the bear didn't get them. I won't say because it's spoiling the game. I appreciate it. The bear ate most of their food. Maybe that's why I'm still alive. He wasn't hungry. Arrowheads, bowstrings, hide to make adhesive. The archers must have been here. Jin, Kaka, I found something. The firewood is still warm. The archers were staying in the house. They must be close. They stole the Mongols' explosive barrels. <laughs> I like these archers. Tracks here. There they are, heading up the hill toward that bridge. They're staying low for a reason. Keep your heads down and don't call out. What? They really gotta stop doing this. Like they can't say there they are. Oh, there they are. Okay. Like, Jesus. They're really bad at pointing things out in this game. They're like, oh, just, you'll see it. Don't worry. You know, like the fucking wind. What up? Alive! Get over here! You must be the archers from Yeriko. What's left of them? The Mongols caught us raiding a camp for supplies. We barely got away. What about the others? Captured. We tracked them here. We can help you free them. Hmm. You look like you can handle yourselves. I don't know. Daikoku. Jin Sakai. Sakai, eh? As long as you're not the Shimura. Let's have a look at that camp. Where's it's about that. Looks like the Mongols are preparing to move. Headed for a garrison on the other side of old Yarikawa. We need to strike now, before they leave. There's your archers. All in good health. The sooner we free them, the better. Bad idea to rush in. We know where they're headed. We can set an ambush along the route. The terrain isn't good for an ambush. What about old Yarikawa? Rooftops on both sides of the road. We can even use your stolen explosives. You found that, huh? I like the way you think. Good. Let's move before the Mongols do. The Mongols are headed this way. All right, at least it actually Get moved me. The houses. No, I'm staying out here. I can fight too. Jin, tell him. Taka can decide for himself. Then you can watch out for him. Are you scared? No. Not really. A little. Yuna's never afraid. You're probably like that too. Fear drives you to be stronger. Fight harder. My father taught me that. I never knew my father. When I get scared, I can't think. I freeze. That's because you lack training. Yuna's been in danger many times. She's had more practice than you. Without her, I'd be dead. So would I. There they are. I'll shoot the barrels when the Mongols get close. Lord Sakai, I'm not ready. You can do this, Taka. Just take your fear. Time for a cold sprite. Yes, sounds right. Now, my lord. Not yet. They're close enough now, right? I want to get all them horses. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, all this is working out. The fuck are you guys doing? Oh, they're just archers like oh okay Totally, 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 totally. Get him out of here. That was a leader. I should have got points for that. Is it McDonald's Sprite? No, nah, it's can. Oh. Oh. No, it's... <laughs> not okay. it's not McDonald's Sprite. It ain't Sprite. Motherfucker. Good work, Daikoku. Take your men back to Yarikawa stronghold. Right away. I know you're a Sakai, but you didn't mention you're the ghost. Oh, I'm the ghost. You help breaking the siege. If Ujimasa accepts it, I'll make sure he does. That's Looking the real cool. technical, gangster. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Taka, go with Daikoku. I Daikoku. With Jin. Go with Daikoku. We did it. Taka could have been killed, Jin. I saw him fall. He's fine. He did everything perfectly. I shouldn't have let him fight. You know. I drizzle. You want to protect him. Always down the high drizzle. Taka's not a fighter. He could become one. You don't know my brother like I do. You can't always be the one to defend him. I'll decide what's best for Taka. You look after your own family. I don't like her. He's fucking becoming annoying. I need to go back. We still need to end this siege. I'll see you there. He's becoming unreal. And I don't like unreasonable people. Yeah. My legend grows. I'm the hero of Tsushima. All right. Have you seen the new Dragon Ball movie yet? It's so good. I have not. Incense mixed with black powder creates thick smoke. The last one that I saw was like the Brawly one. Like they remade Brawly again or something like that. Quickly, with precision, kill three at once. Give me an edge. That just seems like cheating. Briefly slow down the aim, huh? Concussive blast, blinding dust. And yeah, I don't really care about those. Our vitality. And then, oh, back to technique. Shoulder charge, charge enemies while sprinting to knock them backward. Sure. Need to unlock some of this stuff. The Brawly movie was great. Yeah, I, I I didn't see the latest one then. What is that like? Superhero or hero? Dragon Ball Z hero. I still haven't even finished Super or anything like that. Like I'm I'm behind in Dragon Ball lore. Lord of Sakai. You're back. Taka. Yariko has a fighting chance because of our efforts. You should be proud. I am, my lord. But the Mongols are growing restless outside. We showed them Yariko won't surrender. Now they won't pay back. Will they attack tonight? Unlikely. They'll give us a sleepless night, then attack tomorrow when we're exhausted. Get some rest while you can.
actually trying to fight. Is Boruto any good? Seems like a cash grab. Never. I've never been a Naruto or a Boruto guy. Or, I, I'm, no, I don't know. I, I just don't know. The only animes I really watched as a kid were Cowboy Bebop and Dragon Ball. Um, I finished Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, but I never got to Super at all. Preparation for the town's defenses are going well. Guys looking spiffy like the orange accents. Dude, he's ball. He's a bop. It won't change what I think of your uncle. That's not my goal. The samurai were wiped out. We need you. you need bodies to throw at the Mongols. How you doing though, Carson? Yarikawa's people are known for courage and skill. We need that more than anything. I'll consider it. I'm just going upstairs? I assume so. Just says the top. Taking it to the top. Hey! You're awake too. They killed the samurai. What chance do a bunch of farmers have? We have to try. I think you need this more than me. She's fucking rolling like the drunken master right now. She's just fuck it. He's rolling deep. Time for war. Oh. Kenji spent the rest of the day wearing one sandal. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. My mother loved it. Used to drink it like water. She gets so mad when she ran out. Yelled at us. Where's my tea? Bitch is crazy. Sounds like a demanding woman. She broke Taka's arm when he was six. God damn. I took him away. Ran as far from her as we could get. We heard they found her a month later. Face down in the street. You were brave to protect your brother. Sometimes, our only choice is to walk away from everything we know. Got another bottle of this shit. <laughs> Damn. God damn, god damn. You know, Jin, this is it. To the gates. This is it. Whatever happens, we don't retreat. We don't retreat. Jin, you know, the moment. Fuck them, I'm going. How close? They're at the main gates. If they get through, we'll stop them. Ah. Ah. Taka, gather everyone who can't fight and get them to the keep. Everyone, take shelter in the keep. Quickly, this way, to the keep. Follow me. They're attacking. Ah, me. Yeah. Reach the gate. Stand your ground. Every Mongol who sets foot inside our walls will die. Holy I'm shit. Past you. Archers, cut them down. It's on like Donkey Kong in this bitch! Don't let 
All right, why wasn't it letting me parry that? Is it the targeting? It's definitely the targeting, isn't it? Yeah, get the fuck out of here with that shit. I feel like my style is the water. I'm the I'm the water stance guy. Um, I'm fucking busy over here, Mr. Fucking Spear Guy. You asshole. I'm gonna kill the shit out of you. What other gate? We don't have any explosive barrels for him? That would have been kind of a smart move. Oh, that. Oh god. Uh boop. Sticky. No. Any more people? There we go. Oh. Um. Another sticky bomb. Uh smoke bomb. Boom. Oh. I'm fucking Batman! I'm Batman! No! Fuck you! I took a lot of shots. Oh god. Fuck you! Fuck you! Going way too crazy. They're running. I don't blame them. They're falling back. No, they ain't. We barely damaged them. What are they up to? Trying to lure us out? Oh! No. Hold them off as long as you can, then fall back to the keep. I'll deal with the siege weapons. I should come with you. Rainbow no. Six. Tucker needs you. Whoa, chicken bag. It's on. It's fucking on right now. Destroy those siege weapons. Fuck you. Fuck you. A lot of guys up top here, coming down. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, that sucks. I don't have any more. All right, we're moving. You don't see shit.
That was sick as fuck. <laughs> that was dope. Spin moved him. You have any arrows? Where'd you go? You got any arrows? Oh, you do. What a fucking move. Where'd your ass go? Oh, they're just on it. Okay, let's go. That's fair. Come on! Come on! One down! Don't do it, kid. Better. Destroy. One down. You know what? Okay, okay. Are you just what the fuck? Why wouldn't he start running? Run! What in the fuck game? You're like magnetizing him in? That stuff drives me crazy. Just trying to go for the archer and the game was just like, oh, you're trying to go for the archer? Fuck you. Okay, we're not doing that. I don't think these guys are difficult at all. I was just trying to fucking get out of your bullshit animations. It's like I was playing NBA 2K for a second. We can. I'm fucking Won't be easy to get back to the stronghold. Oh yeah, it will. Check this out. Break down the walls. Wait, how did that hit me? Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy. Just die. Yeah, just die. Like, how did that hit me? The. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that the dodge button isn't actually a dodge button. That drives me fucking nuts. I'm not gonna lie. What was that? What was that? Like, why didn't he just... Mm. Why didn't he just jump on the rope like I was gonna do? Like I'm gonna get the bomb, 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 bomb. Game's fucking trolling me sometimes, I swear to God. Just straight trolling. There's a piece of me that thinks. Small piece. Where did the big guy go? This fucking shit. Stop with that. Stop it. This fire weapon thing. No fun. Especially when apparently you have fucking weapons that just go through dodges and shit. Drives me crazy.
Oh my god, just fuck off, arrow guys. I'm just trying to kill one dude. Just one guy! Just trying to kill one fucking guy! And you're gonna keep getting in my goddamn way! You fucking pieces of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill all of you! You fucking pieces of fuck! Arrow guys! And then I got this fucking dumbass, fucking bullshit ass freaking. Get the fuck out of my life! Jesus! What the fuck is this? Too many things. There's, there's like little things where I'm sitting here like, who the fuck thought of that idea? So they're so close to just being a perfectly fine game and then they fuck it up. Drives me goddamn nuts. Like any other game, they would've been like, here's a little thing to like say that an arrow is being shot. This game, you're like, oh, you gotta listen. You gotta fucking listen to know when the arrow's coming. Fuck. Bullshit ass bullshit. Tamuke, face me. The ghost. Hotun will reward me for your head. What's up, unit? Welcome back. We're in a, a battle here right now. Apparently. Oh, shit. I am Jin Sakai. And I have killed men like you all across our island. Damn. Your blood will soak the island. God damn it. You would. You would do the fucking fire sword shit. Ugh. Fucking hate fire sword garbage. I like how he just lighten it. Uh, dude, I swear to God, if I fucking do that again, I'm gonna go crazy. Um, how'd he hit me? Just because of the fire, right? Just like some dirt shit? Like he's hitting me with fire dirt? Like he's not even hitting me with the sword. Watch out for that one. So yeah, he just does like a little couple sparks there. Really silly. Careful, Tamuge. You can't get Kotun's reward if you're dead. A lucky bro. You will not get another. Now, and I might show you mercy. How's the Xbox Series X treating you? It's an Xbox. Legitimately, the only reason I got it was to uh, be able to play games that I haven't had access to, like Saints Row or Saints Row One and Two, and Skate One through Three, and like I, I've had an Xbox Series or I had an Xbox One X. I had an Xbox One. I, I've had it before, so it's not like anything crazy. You know? I'm just glad to have access to like a lot of games that I haven't been able to have access to. That was really the only point to even get it. Really disappointed that uh, Xbox keeps delisting games though from the marketplace and taking them off of my account. Really annoying, not gonna lie. Especially when you fucking paid for it, but you know, I digress. That's one thing, that's one thing I'll give PlayStation is I feel like even when they delist something, they don't just remove something from your fucking account. That's some cold-blooded shit that Microsoft got going on. I like how I've gotten no help from this. Like, it's really incredible. Um...
Yeah. I, I really need to figure these out because I don't understand how I'm literally taking no health from them, but it's fine. You know, it's cool. Honestly, right? Thank you. How it feels when I fucking have to figure out all of these goddamn bosses like it's a fucking Dark Souls boss or some shit. Like, dude, just let me kill the guy. I don't really care about this shit. Dude, if you haven't already done our Saints Row stream already, it'd be totally down for an Xbox stream. But yeah, like that's the thing. We we I mean we just did a Saints Row 2 stream. But uh it will at least be stable now. Love to see a GTA 4 stream from the Xbox Series X. I don't know how much better it is. I've heard people say that it's a better version, but I I, I have yet to see that. Really trying to figure out the stance you want me to use because it's getting really boring. This fire shit's really annoying. It plays 60 FPS on 60 F or on Series X from what I heard. That's what I heard too, but I don't see it on any like enhanced list or like something like that. I, I don't know. I'm interested to see, but I have not confirmed anything. Oh, it did its bullshit fire move. Fuck yeah, game. I love that. I love your bullshit fire move in this game, dude. Ugh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I can go Bella Lugosi on your ass. Oh! What are you gonna do now? Slaughtered leaders earns ghost stands? What? Ah! Ah! Look at your general. Run. This will be your fate. Ah! People of Yarikawa, hunt every Mongol to the last man. Spare no one. For your ah! You better fucking run! All the archers are going down! Killing enemies without taking damage earns you ghost mo or ghost stance. You were damaged, you're go thank you, game. Thank you, fucking dick face. I just have to one hit them, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just dropped all of them. That was good. That was good shit. Fuck you. Push them back. No one gets away. Hey, you. Oh no! Don't let them get away. I want to kill them all. 
Oh, I'm got away. Saved your town. Now we help Lord Shimura save our island. We are not soldiers. I didn't fucking ask you. Who killed these Mongols? Who stood against the siege? How long is this game? I've heard pretty long, like 25 hours. We did. You can't just stay here and wait for the Mongols to try again. Who are you guys even talking to? You say you are not soldiers. You are warriors. We can defeat the invaders and save our home. AW Dynamite was actually good tonight. Only I saw some of it. Together. Damn right. Back to me. Ooh. Ooh. Me. Ah. Damn right. Damn right. on the move yeah I think it does really depend on how much you really put into the game but I, I assume at least like a 20 hour game somewhere around there would you call this a samurai version of Red Dead 2 yeah it would I really would You didn't have to kill me. What if you didn't have to kill me? The Metal Gear shit about to go down right now. I got that fucking ghost stance, bruh. Enter ghost stance. Either slaughter Mongol leaders from stealth or kill enough enemies without taking damage. All right. It's done. Yadikawa will join our fight, but I have other duties before we can retake Lord Shimura's castle. Indeed. We always got them duties, bruh. Let's see. What is this? Kushi Temple. Norio Tail. Hmm. They really want me to do this Norio stuff. I don't know what the fuck it even is. Um. So with that, we move. God, we got to move up far to get that. Eesh. But if I also go and do these, I can get more of the Gusaku armor. I'd probably do that. I'd like to do that at least. And then from here, I go to there. Be this way. Nice bridge. Look at that flower. Can I get it from up here? Damn. Jump down. Oh. Lame. I don't want your flower anymore. Who will fight? 
standoffs are funny because especially when you're in later or like when you're in the game later like you're just a murderer like you can't even get stopped like bah. Yeah, all right. Let me get this though. Where's me horse? Oh, where? I'd go fight those guys, but I got I gotta move. I can't keep getting distracted like I always do. That's one thing just like Red Dead that this game does really well is just distract you with random stuff on the map. And I'm, I'm trying my hardest to just stick to the course. the horse can climb that come on horse you got this shit yeah 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 we're up this is where I'm heading this is where I'm heading oh shit taking this over huh go Gonna need a, gonna need a real good shot here. Nailed it. Hmm. Do they have anything I can like R2? There it is, there it is. Oh, why can't I do it? You gotta be higher up. Shit. Oh, there's some rocks. We can get in here, we got this. Damn it. What about this one? I'm in. Defeat the Mongols, eliminate the war camp general, release the Falcons, recover the Shishim Shishimono banner, and assassinate an enemy from above. Jesus. Got a lot of stuff going on there, bud. You guys right here. It won't let me chain assassinate from right there? Or did he walk away? He's walking away. I'm literally behind this wall. How could he see me? do that I don't know what you're doing just do whatever it's fine Stop. all right the birds have been freed whoa 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 that dog almost got me See a goddamn thing, sir. Got one up top there. The Mongol leader. All right, he must be right there then. One find a body or something, or oh, they must have found something. They're freaking out.
You know, there you go. I'm really annoyed that he didn't just go in, but it's yep. Erg. Small things. It's just the small things. That could have been so badass if the game would have, you know, did the assassinate thing, but. Fine, it's fine. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that one I like a lot, where he knees the fucking knife back into his throat. It's pretty fucking crazy. I like it. Ugh, the gurgling. That gurgling was fucking a lot. A little bit closer. Why? 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 Why did it not do... Uh, I'm really not enjoying that. Like, that... Why wasn't that an assassination? I'm confused and annoyed. That's been happening a lot. You literally have to wait for it to say fucking... A little... Ugh. Yeah, it's annoying, dude. I'm not gonna lie. It's been really annoying. This game's next on your backlog? I have no clue. All I know is that was really annoying. Wouldn't be a fight without a fucking archer around. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Oh no, really, where is he? What? There you are, you little piece of shit. See you guys later. Oh, cool, he didn't go through it. Christ. There's some small things. There are small things in this game. Yeah, I'm not sure at all what would be next on the backlog. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, Yakuza like a dragon. Um. Elden Ring, but. I don't know if I'll ever actually play through Elden Ring. 
knowing me. Where the fuck is he? I'm, I'm like, you guys almost ruined the fun of the game. Like, I'm not even fucking playing with you. You guys really do. Fucking archers in this game are truly the most annoying shit ever. Not even fun. Not fun nor funny. I like how you. All right. Okay. Since when do you guys have unblockable moves? What? Since when did a fucking swordsman have a block fucking fucking bullshit ass fucking game? Just switching the fucking rules, whatever it fucking wants. Jesus. And you're thinking swordsman's supposed to be the easiest fucking guy you go against, and then they change the fucking rule. They're like, oh, remember the fucking. Why can't? Thank you. Jesus. That assassination prop. Been watching those one bite pizza reviews. Dine at the laughter and hunger at the same time is not recommended. One bite's a great series. I wouldn't say I'm a big Dave Portnoy or big Dave Portnoy or D fucking Dave Portnoy. God damn it. I can barely fucking speak anymore. It's like my brain is going to mush. Um, Dave Portnoy's videos are pretty good. I like Dave, but I don't love Dave. He does some questionable things sometimes. This fucking game. That fucking worked. Yeah, eat a dick, my friend. Ghosted up in this bitch. <laughs> I like how you could just fucking straight take a leader's head off now. That's pretty fucking awesome. I enjoy that. Oh my god, just get over the roof. God damn it. Just I want to be able to. I can just slaughter him? Like. No, like, thing here. Defeat the Mongols. I hate you. I fucking hate you so much, game. Like, come on, dude. What's the. Not like I was right behind him. Not like I, you know, could have assassinated him right there. It's the fucking little tiny details that you gotta get fucking right. That's really, that's really it, dude. Like, if I'm behind someone, assassinate him. All right? If I'm behind fucking anyone, you should just be able to assassinate. I shouldn't have to wait for this little prompt to come up and then say assassinate. That's fucking stupid. That's really dumb. Not like I'm fucking playing Assassin's Creed from 2007, all right? Like, I don't, I don't need that. Just assassinate the dude. Just do it. Like, uh, oh, that's, uh, I've literally had about 10 or 15 times where I will literally, it will show the prompt and I will jump behind the guy and it will fucking just not work. 
I do not like that. That's bullshit. Get your shit together. Fucking annoying. Like, who decided that? I'm... But that worked. But that fucking worked. What was that? Madness. That's what it is. It's fucking madness. Oh my god. Fucking guy comes out of the door. Sees me right in front of him and then I can assassinate him. Wasn't able to assassinate him fucking. fucking just, just, just annoyed. Just fucking annoyed. By the, just the... Ugh. Ugh. This is one of those games that I don't I shouldn't have came back to today. I should have just played something random. Cuz coming back to this after a week and then like seeing you know like the rose tinted glasses kind of go away. You kind of see it and you're like, "Yep. There's problems. Definitely problems." Like, why can't you just get up on that? Like, jump up there. Like, fuck, dude. I have to jump 60,000 times to make sure he gets up there without him just fucking... Small things. There's small things. Like, right here. Why can't I assassinate? What's up with that? You fucking like that, boys? Damn right. Sick of this shit! You got your fucking dodge moves that don't work. Your assassinations that don't trigger. There are definitely small things in this game that are annoying as fuck. Great game, don't get me wrong, like, well-made game. Just small mistakes that were made that really can piss someone off when you're just trying to play the game. Like, you've basically said I could, but then I can't do the fucking moves you're telling me to goddamn do. Fucking madness. Madness. Absolute madness. But I could assassinate him. Literally right in front of the guy. I could assassinate him. Matt. Where's this last fucking banner? Challenge remaining enemies? Like what? Let them know I'm here? Fuck that. This better work. This better fucking work. Thank you. For once. On the move. Get this shit over with. This isn't even a fucking main mission. This is a goddamn side mission. What have I done?
you. any of did that have anything to do with that or i just technique point earned thank you two gold gold from that huh but that wasn't part of mm. i was sitting here thinking that was like the next part of the usaku thing Was I just completely wrong about that? Hmm. Journal. Tales of Shiva. Journey into the past. No. See, there we go. Ten keys from the six farmsteads. So this wasn't one of those. Wants me to go there instead. Balls. I have a feeling that I had nothing to do with it. Hell yeah, dead. Hell yeah, dead. Always a good feeling. Do something that didn't have anything to do with what you wanted it to. Be. Uh. Do have a gift altar up here though, so we'll see what we got. The brutal bandit. For those who don't need to hide their past deeds. Oh. The haunted dreams worn by those who have seen death. They definitely have. I don't think any of those are going to be better. Oh, okay. Well, kind of cool, I guess. Is it better than a gold fucking super mask? It does match. I get that. I get that it matches. I need to upgrade that. Where is the armor upgrader? You're the sword guy, right? Yeah. Let me be of use. Apologies. You don't have what we need to do the work. I don't like searching for these dudes. There we go. Over here. Massive health improvement. Oh, that gives me like this crit. Oh. Oh. That's a lot. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's definitely a lot. I kind of like it like this more. That just seems like too much, you know? And why is it covering my, my white area? I don't like that. Like it's staying all white. Yeah, there's something about like this where I, I look at least like not that fucking crazy. I guess we're just heading up there, huh? My horse allowed in here? Oh, 
I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to climb this. And there's no way up here either. God damn it, dude. Just I hate these fucking villages that have one way in and out. God damn it. Fucking game design. Sure, let me just head on over here to the fucking gate. In a game where you can climb like anything except for the fucking walls to the fucking gate. Don't worry about that. I'm telling you, it's it's small details in games that drive me crazy. It really is. Especially when you make a game like this, like it's a great game. But then when you miss those small details, I'm like, God fucking damn it. I'm going to kill someone. I'm going to. You did all this work to fuck up that little thing. It, it drives me crazy. It drives me nuts. Dead bandits. Dead bandits. That's what they are. This looks like some fucking Legend of Zelda shit right here. Like I'm in fucking Kokiri Forest or some shit. Some shit can go down in this place, huh? Oh. Seems to be a fire. Is this where I'm heading? This is where I'm heading. Kill motherfuckers. Yatata, yatata. Kill the host or defend the hostages, my bad. <laughs> kill the Mongols. And uh kill enemies with a chain assassination, huh? Well, let me get this guy first. Would that be three? No. I need them closer together. Need for Speed Heat good? It's free now. Um, I I beat Need for Speed Heat. I think it's a pretty decent Need for Speed. I wouldn't say it's um, I wouldn't say it's like incredible or groundbreaking or anything, but definitely not bad at all. There we go. Just needed more guys. That was dope. Be all right. You saved Yarikawa, my lord. I'm glad you were able to heal those old wounds. Oh, at last. Thank you, Lord Sakai. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. Uh, Need for Speed Heat has this really cool mechanic. It, they did it somewhat in a uh, Need for Speed, like the re the rebrand or you know what the I'm trying to remember what year that even was. The Need for Speed reboot, you know, you know what I'm fucking talking about. Um, in Need for Speed Heat, they did a really cool thing where at nighttime, if you're doing races and shit, if you get caught by the cops, you lose all of the points that you've earned. So like, they did like an interesting, um, roguelike kind of thing there that I thought was, oh, I thought it was hidden, but I guess not. Um, thought it was really well done. It made it so like when you're out racing at night and if you get caught by the cops, like it makes it a huge thing. You lose everything. And I like that a lot. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I thought like me being in those bushes was gonna be a block, but it wasn't. Like, it basically feels like a game of trying to get back to home base, and it's fucking awesome. Like, that's what I really like about it. Um, fuck that dog. And fuck this guy. Y'all be free, my friends. Cops and robbers kind of vibes. Yeah, it's it, it's really nicely done. Like, it's probably one of the first racing games that I've played that gives you, like, a feeling of adrenaline. Like, in, like, oh, man, if I fuck this up, it's it's not good. And I think, it, I think that's really well done. But if you do fuck it up, it sucks really bad. <laughs> Especially if you banked up a lot of uh, heat. It sucks really bad to lose all of it. But for free, yeah, the game's pretty damn good. What's over there, big guy? None of that. You'll be free soon. My life is yours. Go and stay safe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think he would be able to climb that anyway. Or the helmet? Damn, they all got helmets. Boo. Who the fuck uses helmets? What the fuck was that, man? Crazy. Got him. You won't. I got the balls, kid. How is it too dangerous? Who are you worried about? What do you mean it's too dangerous? What are you talking about? Am I missing something? No, not yet. Oh, just that guy all the way over there. All right. All right. This lady's like, I will not leave where I am until everyone around me in a fucking five mile radius is dead. I respect it. Save me. Oh, now you want to be saved. All right. Yeah. Still. Silly goose. Need for Speed Heat was perfect. Just needed more content instead of a studio change. Also, the day races should have given XP and not night because day races were boring and they were was a low level cat I, I agree with that i agree with that day races were pretty much completely useless 
Unless you wanted money. I think that's what it was. Like, day races you can get decent money from. But other than that, nothing at all. Let's see here. I potted up still. Oh, thank God. Still got the pods. Whoa, that guy's just butt naked. Oh. I like I like Need for Speed uh, Speed a lot though. I'm curious to see what they do with this next one, but who knows? Apparently, EA didn't think Heat was good enough. So, if they didn't think Heat was good, I don't know what the fuck they think's good. To be honest with you. All right, that place has been freed. Now it wants me to go all the way down here. Okay, sure. All right. That's what I got to do to get this fucking Osaku armor. Last night I had sushi with my girlfriend. The most overpriced fucking sushi I've ever had in my life. Couldn't believe it. I was like kind of disappointed in myself. But, you know, what are you going to do? It was good. Like, it was... I mean, actually, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't great. It was good sushi, but it wasn't great. And it was not worth the price of admission. Very disappointed in that way. No clue what's going on. Oh, they're already going for hostages, huh? That is not very nice, is it? Oh, hey there. Got you, it's chill. You're going to be all right. I heard weird things about the newest Need for Speed that they're working on. Be careful up there. It could be interesting, but from what I read about it, which obviously has to be taken with a grain of salt. Sounds like they're doing some weird shit with it, not gonna lie. But who knows? I don't know what they think Need for Speed is at this point, but EA is literally just remaking it again and again and again it's madness complete madness i don't know why he jumped down from there yeah. i was killing him sir yeah The detection on these dogs are fucking terrible, dude. I don't think it properly targets the dogs right, and it drives me crazy. Lord Sakai, you have my thing. I just want a cop chase in a tropical city, man. I feel it. I feel it. I think Heat did really well for that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I think Heat was probably one of the better Need for Speeds we've seen in a while. The Need for Speed reboot was pretty okay. It wasn't perfect, though. Um, I don't know. I really don't know how, how they're going to pull this next one off. Just have to see.
I still played Heat to this day. It was the first game I ever pre ordered. God damn. That's dope. I'm in. I really wanted that headshot, but of course, as always, I fuck it up because of this game having questionable shit going on in it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I feel it. He barely got any support at all. It really didn't get any post-launch stuff. Um, who who did they give it to? Who's making it now? Like they get like another new studio. Put it to good use. Have you ever seen the armor yourself? We'd never dare look, my lord. We were to keep it safe for someone like you. That's the last key. The musician said the armor is atop a hill in Akashima. Ruby. 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 Prom Prom what? Criterion's making it? Oh, then it's gonna suck. They've been making shitty ones for a while. Did you stop barking? Not your place to be barking right now. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill it out there, girly. Ruby just went off. Big pissed. <sighs> We're going here, huh? The old Togo rice fields. All right. Into Fortito. <laughs> Rogue. Wait, are these good guys or bad guys? Good evening, my lord. All right. Second. What's at the top of this mountain over here? Better be fucking worth it. They we're gonna have a Tokyo style update. Then EA is like. Yeah, fuck all you want to sit want to see some dumb shit. They were going to do a Tokyo update? What? That would have been fantastic. Wait, they got people defending it? Dude, Ruby. It's just not my day. I'm not going to lie. Fucking Shut up, dude. Like, there's no reason to even be barking. Other than just be annoying. <laughs> Honestly. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> All that's left is the archer, huh? Oh, I can't target him correctly. Where did all of you even come from? First of all, you can't just show up out of fucking nowhere. Oh my God, there's nothing more that I hate than fucking dodge move mechanics. God damn it, game. Thank you. Thank you for telling me moon stances. Thanks so much. I needed to know that. But I already knew it. Son of a bitch. What, are you gonna tell me the fucking water stance is good for the fucking, you know? Let me know. Come on. Say it.
I fucking hate dodge so much. Like, what? Who decided that the dodge button sometimes doesn't actually work? That was awesome. You just shot your buddy, dude. What the fuck? I would have loved a, a Tokyo Need for Speed. I really would have. I would have played the shit out of a Tokyo Need for Speed. All right, I got the key. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. Wants me to Clizime, huh? I can uncharted this bitch. Furious. Too fast for y'all. There it is. This is it, huh? They put this armor up here, and no one could get up here except for me. All right. The Mongols will learn of its power firsthand. Oh, Shitsky. Sturdy. Dirty. Light. Oh. Whoa. Oh shit. God damn. Dope ass armor. Also got his headband. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Can you upgrade it? You can. Fuck. Fuck. You can upgrade it. Oh, and it looks even dope that way. Fuck. Fuck. I still want my headband though. My headband's dope. Whoa, when did I get that? Oh. Hmm. Whoa. Hey, your bird. All right, we got that armor. There's another thing of armor right here, but... I'm wondering how much I should care about it. I'm interested. Lord Samurai, please, I have a message for you. What's wrong? A demon is going to kill me no. if I don't tell you his tale. Don't waste my time. Demons are just legends. Not this one. 
His name is Kojiro. Oh shit. And he cannot die. Long years ago, Kojiro was a straw hat ronin. Okay. So fearsome. All right, I'm grabbing the BONG. This guy went into story mode, and I'm like, all right, BONG time. From dawn until dusk, dozens of straw hats fought Kojiro. He slew them all. Those who escaped that day disowned Kojiro from the straw hat ranks, but never crossed him again. The spirits of death were so astonished by Kojiro. They blessed his armor to grant him a tireless sword arm. He's now more than a man. He's a slayer of legend. When the Straw Hats betrayed our people and joined the Mongols, they welcomed Kojiro back as a brother. Five killers from the Straw Hats have joined Kojiro and sworn an oath to kill you. Kojiro wants me to know I'm hunted. I'll be on my guard. No need, my lord. Kojiro will grant you the honor of a duel. Oh, yeah? You must earn that privilege. Oh. By dueling the five straw hats who joined him. Come on. Seems I already accepted this challenge without realizing it. And you know they're waiting across the region. Damn. And we'll use innocent people to draw you to them. I'll finish this. They always, make sure they always got something, you know? I should have all those years ago. Like, I would have loved to go for another one, but... I've never met a man like him before. I'm not even sure he I don't want to do a bunch of quests to have to... get the armor. Can I change the color of the Gusaku armor? Mm. I doubt it, but... I'm gonna see. He was right here? No. Where was he? What? He was up here. Come on, where is he at? You here? Yes. Ah, oh, zero new vanity gear. Damn. Damn. I wanted to wipe this armor out. It'd be so sick. Oh, you can get a different color, though. Pretty cool. Island Burwalk. It looks all right. And then the Moon Knight Slayer. Wish it was more white. Thank That's you. All. all right. So we did that. I mean, at this point, it'd just be, let's just keep moving on, you know. Claim your family right <laughs> I'm not even gonna. I fucked that one up a little bit, but it's fine. Um, claim the family armor, and we will do that. We have a duel. Duel. We put a bunch of duels on the map. All right. That's cool and all. I just don't feel like doing it right now. So we will go to Kashimazu Farmstead, and we will ride out to the next story mission. Wherever I am right now, it's not great. Damn it. There you are. Is it really necessary for me to climb up all this? I'm having a feeling that it might not be necessary. The old Toyotama Hills. That's where we be. Go 
going the right way. So it says return to Omi village. Like, I know that's like my village. Is this, wait, what? Lord Shimura's camp, what? What? Right here? You can learn new shit every day. This is where we're all training or? Oh shit, here he is right here. Alright. We should join the Tito's fight. Would you like to see what I have? Oh the blue. Oh. I also like this red. I like these. But I like them better than that. Hmm. The blue is kind of cool. That Naruto headband. I kind of like this. An honor to assist your fight. Do both of them. Not part of my mission. You can sit here and liberate things all goddamn night trying to get to the next mission. Does that work? <laughs> the armor is like glitching out. Oh no. Oh, my armor. Nice place. But no one's taken this over yet? Or like, I don't understand. How has no one taken this over? No son of Mongols. Yeah, that's the strange thing. Someone else is about to be here though. Just fucking jizzed. I feared you were dead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I came as soon as I could. It's good to see you, Yuriko. You look tired. Are you hungry? Not now. Thank you. The Khan's army must have marched past here. Have you had any trouble? 
A few bandits, nothing I can't take care of. I've come for my father's... my armor. You refused to wear it at Komoda Beach. A lot has changed since then. I hid it somewhere safe. Now she fucking hit it somewhere. Ruby. Even Ruby's not happy about it. These old bones. I know, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, kind of ridiculous. I gotta go close my window real quick so Ruby starts or er, stops barking at the dogs outside. Give me a sec. Oh, all right. I'll get Taichi to help me fetch him. He's at the cemetery. What's he doing there? Tending the grounds, gathering plants for my poisons, keeps vermin out of our food stores. I'm glad you're not alone. What about Lord Shimura? Alive. The Mongols captured him at Komoda, but we freed him. Oh. Others survived. And they're helping you? A few. Lady Masako. Good. She's been fighting alongside the boy since she was knee-high. <laughs> You'll have to tell me more about that someday. But it's just the two of you? A few others. Sensei Ishikawa. I haven't seen him in years. Does he still act like he's the only one who knows how to do things? Half the time he's right. But his aim is unmatched. He would certainly agree. It's really pretty. Can once again not get over how pretty this game is. What's up, dead? No. Lord Sakai, you're back. I wish I could stay, but I hear you're taking good care of Yuriko. You've got that backwards, my lord. Daichi, help me get the Sakai armor. Go. I should pay my respects. The weeds haven't been pulled. I'm sorry, Yuriko. Our Lord finally returns, and his home is a mess. I'll fix it immediately. Don't worry about that now. Let's make sure the armor is perfect. Ah. Oh shit. Okay. This totally looks like where someone will die. <laughs> or like some duel is gonna fucking go down here, bro. Do this haiku, bro. Reflect. Legacy. Mm. A light for my father. It, oh, his grave close. It's so distant.
this old tree lives on. Oh, all right. Haikuing it up, bruh. His grave close, his soul distant. This old tree lives on. Damn right. Haikuing it up. You know about these fucking haikus, bruh. Not only going to be on PlayStation for three more years. Well, is that confirmed? Like, that's the thing. Like, there's all these rumors and, like, reports, but this is going to need to be confirmed for me to believe that. Oh, my God. They actually. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The leaves actually. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that detail. Oh my fucking goodness. That is that is fantastic. That's great. That's great and amazing. I love it. All right. Continuing. Left a haiku for father. I think it is. I don't think that's confirmed. Like I don't see that happening. You're just losing sales at that point. It's not a smart business move. But, I mean, uh, I I need actual, like, from Microsoft. Like, you're not going to make me believe that unless they literally said that. And I don't think the acquisition's even done yet. So, that's a, a big move right there to do such a thing. I need Phil Spencer to pop up and be like, I ain't going to take this shit. Ruby. Jin, help me. Wait, this was the armor he was murdered in? That's kind of a lot. I wouldn't really ever want to wear the armor my dad was murdered in. I'm just being real. Like. Oh, shit. Is that even sanitary? Yeah, I scared the shit out of you, huh? Master? Up. Are you alright? Yes, just lightheaded. For a moment, I thought you looked. You can change the color of it. Get inside. What the fuck? Worn by the greatest samurai of the Sakai clan. Or the leader of the Sakai clan, previously worn by Jin's father, Kazamasa. Okay. You guys really want to do this? All right, sure. You want to roll up to my fucking home right after I put my father's armor on? You understand these streets? You fucked up. Who's next? You fucked up. You fucked up. 
Yuriko. Damn right. While wearing this armor, standoff streak increases by one. So you can do four people? Is that what I was trying to say? It's not a bad armor. It's just not amazing in my opinion. I, I don't like that headband. Like, unless that's just the mask. How does that work? Yeah, I don't like the helmet. Not the helmet guy right there. I need my, I need my headband back. See, that's better to me. I like my headband. I think that's, I like my headband of death that I made a fucking haiku for. That's sick. All right, so you can upgrade it. That's the first upgrade. Cost 250 and 10 linen. And then 20 linen, 10 leather. Okay. That almost makes you like, oh, fucking pee at that point, dude. Increases the standoff streak by one. So if you upgrade it again, you can get increased by two. So then you're just invincible at that point. Like you're unstoppable. Let's get these last few upgrades. Delayed strike. A delayed strike attack that quickly, that inflicts extra melee damage in a stack. All right. Mounted strike. And then the perfect dodge. Um, dodge at the last possible moment to perform a deadly counterattack. Okay. So we've gotten all of this stuff, which is good. Wait, what? So there is a way to fucking light your... You don't fuck. Oh. And then explosive arrows. Oh. That sounds sick. Bamboo strikes increase your maximum resolve. Adding wins. What else can I do? Puncture with that. Surging strikes. Keep it moving. The game keeps going, man. I'm I never would have thought there'd be more things, but I'd be like, wow, there's even more fucking things I can do. That's pretty sick. Are you alright? You butchered them. Yeah. Yarikawa giving us trouble again. You just said I butchered them? Those men were with the Mongols. Of course. Seeing you like that. I'm still shaken up. I'm a beast. What can I, I say? Need to catch my breath. By the lake. All right. Her her By voice is. Yes. Come. All right. I don't know what's up with that voice actor's dialogue or like what's up with that character, but poisons keeps the vermin out of our rice. It's weird. Stronger enough to kill a man. No one deserves that. Can you do it? The effects in larger doses are ugly. Good. Oh. My lord. What are we doing? Sit with me a moment. All right. I can do that. Poison has never been the Sakai way. No Sakai had to fight the Mongol Empire. I need every weapon we have. Are you hating on me because I want to poison? Anything less. The Mongols have changed you, young master. The world has changed. My mother taught me about plants that heal, others that harm, even kill. Yes. But they must be consumed. How will you poison the invaders? Fucking stab them. Oh! I get to use a, a use blow gun? A who studied with monks from the west. Will you help me? Promise me you'll remain the good man I know. I promise. Awesome. I've looked after your every need since your mother carried you. I won't stop now. The 
exciting. Exciting. All I need is something to make a blowgun. Used to be plenty of reeds down river, near the old crossing. Remember? You and your little friend gathered them to make little boats. Fuso and I, we spent all day reenacting the Battle of Dunola. Be careful, Jin. The invaders have an outpost there now. Don't worry, I'll be back soon with reeds. And now I introduce a Reed Tucker. The author of Now and Zen. Oh, it wants me to go a little bit. All right. Am I, am I climbing that? I'm going to chop this desk into two half desks. Ladies and gentlemen, this desk is made. <laughs> oh, so god damn good. Utica was right. A Mongol outpost. Alright, let's fucking defeat the Mongols, destroy the black powder cache, eliminate the warrior camp general, and kill enemies with a half bow. Okay, any day. One done. That has a helmet. Both of them have a helmet. Why would I not be able to chain assassinate though? I don't understand. I'm confused. Is it because there's just this right here? That's the only thing I can assume. Why couldn't I chain assassinate? Does that count as a wall? Is he gonna see me do this? Okay, I had to see. I had to know. You gotta learn to know, you know? Feel. I really haven't been collecting any um, supplies or anything. I should be doing that more. Nice bike. Thank you. Appreciate that, Tommy. So I need more bow kills, but those guy, that guy has a helmet. Plan is to be on tomorrow as well, so we will definitely. Be like I said, I'm I'm mainlining through this, so I'm trying to get this done before I play anything else. Looking real technical, gangster. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, Carl. I guess, Apollo, you're gonna be watching fucking. Uh, you're gonna be watching. Basically, the replays at this point, huh? I'll make sure I get all the replays up so you can watch the VODs. Ghost of Stillwater when? We'll definitely play uh, Saints Row 1 and 2. That is definitely part of the plan. Whoa, 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 why is it not let me parry? What the fuck? 
I don't want as far as because they don't hit the same. I mean, I totally get that. I understand that. But for if you miss a stream, you know. Or a playthrough you want to watch. I understand that perspective. Not mad at that perspective. Alright, I've gotten myself into a lot of stuff. Whoa, my friend. Anyways, I'll see if you're still streaming at 6 a.m. France time. Yeah, you're gonna find out. Oh, what the plan was there, to be honest with you. I don't know what that guy's plan was, to be honest with you. Oh, I think they know I'm here. Yep, they, I couldn't. I was stuck on the box. I was dodging, but I was stuck on the box, apparently. That's probably for the best, honestly. I was kind of trying to do in the fucking first place, but. Fuck me. Fuck me. You're gonna fucking break your guard, goddammit. That's bullshit. Just break it. Like, at this point, I need a stronger sword. But it seems like at least. Because ever since we got to the yellow guys, specifically these yellow outfit dudes, they seem a bit stronger. And my sword's not cutting it. Literally. Not cutting it at all. Is that why you're going to France? To get your hands on the government property? Hmm? Yeah, like I can't just kill him like that. Where do you think you're going? There's a lot of supplies here I can be getting. But I haven't been. Just 
Feeling some chips, dude? Oh, shit. Aw, oh, you dick. Such dick moves. Who am I looking at? What am I doing? What are all the weapons I got? And I can't look because it doesn't pause it while you're trying to look. Yeah. Then you're trying to look at my weapons and I can't even look at them. Hmm. Uh, wind chime. Black powder bomb. Hmm. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Come here and fight. Am I going to Italy anytime soon? No, not anytime soon at all. Perfect for a blowgun. I'll get these to Yuriko. Oh, it doesn't even. Mm. No, I'm doing this. I'd love to go to Italy again, but it costs a lot of money. And that flight is fucking rough, man. That flight. So what I'm gathering is I just don't have the ability to chain assassinate these guys. Is that what I'm learning here? The yellow one? Understand why I haven't been able to chain assassinate some people. I don't understand how he just knew her. Okay, sneaky. Aw, oh, man. I thought I was gonna fucking do something. Damn. Oh, <laughs> such dicks, such fucking dicks, dude. 
Going straight to Paris 12 hours on a plane? Yep, that's the way to do it. Probably get out of range of that. Actually, stay there. It didn't do anything to him. That fucking sucks. Not gonna lie. That kind of sucks. Now we got guys that are just taking arrows to the face. That's where we're going now with this. There's small things, man. There's definitely small fucking things that are like, yo, dude, arrows to the fucking face. And you're like, dog, come on. Just kill the dude. explosive barrels around love those counters incredible man it really is i'm just running around for fun Not gonna lie, the headshot arrow that didn't kill that guy kind of pissed me off. Kind of rubbed me the wrong way there, game. Why you do me like that, bro? I thought we were cool. Just fucking stuck. Like, fuck you, game. Ugh. Yep, now I'm just running around like a psychopath. Bullshit. And they're dog targeting. Jesus. Terrible. Meow.
Miau. Oh yeah, how do I fucking... There it is. Thank you. Oh, that one took him out. That's funny. Alright, so all I got left is like basically three pretty big dudes. Are they all leaders? Jesus. These guys are... Some fancy dudes be coming at me at that amount. Huh? You know? How you guys like sticky bombs? Boom! Boom! For you. Everybody loves a good sticky bomb. See, now we can fight in a more reasonable manner. Once again, I make some random side mission take way longer than it should. Just because I was trying to do it in some fancy way. I could have just snuck around and killed all the dudes. I gotta do it in stat. Let's see. I got the general store right here so I can pick out what outfits he has for this. All my goods are useful. So Oh, the red. Oh, the white. Those look pretty sick. The white looks pretty sick. Use it to defeat the invaders. I will. I don't got anything like newer. I'll see you again. Oh, but then it makes the rest of me like orange. You're killing me, game. Fucking killing me. You ruined it! I can have a matching red mask, though. Hmm. Then that's done. This is the trapper for the upgrade. And this is returning to you. Oh, okay. Because I'm still in a... I'm still in a fucking story mission right now. I completely forget. That was literally just like a side thing that I did in a story mission. Which is, I guess, cool that they let me do that. Want me to go that way? Yep. Get it moving. 
I wish, I really wish the under to this was white. I like, I like the white outside part, but the, the underneath needs to be white as well. It looks pretty cool, but. And then, hold on here. Yeah, I still think that looks better too. Where's Claude been? Green Ninja, I don't know. How do you feel about everything going on in AEW, Carson? What do you think's going on now after watching AEW tonight? Just like revving their car outside or something. I don't know what's going on. Got too distracted. All right, fantastic. Punk doesn't get fired. All involved need to grow up. Uh, and set their difference aside because there's a shitload of money to be made. Punk FDR versus the Elite. That's fucking true. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm saying they make it into an angle. I'm saying it might have been a work in the first place, but I don't know. They all clearly love the business. Yeah, I mean, mm. you caught me thinking about Lord Sakai. I think they all have claimed to love their part of the business, like their little click that they've made. You know, I don't think they love wrestling. I think they love the little atmosphere they've made for themselves. Where they're fucking literally everyone sucks their dick. Like, no one says they do wrong. I agree with Punk's press conference comments on Command 2. And maybe it was the wrong time to... It was the wrong time to do it. I agree with that. I, I agree with everything Punk said. Like, as much as it was, like, really honestly kind of fucked up to do that, like, at a live press conference. Um... And to just like, for some reason, lash out at like journalists that probably had nothing to do with it at all. Um, it, it was weird. It was definitely a, a weird way to do it. But I agree with everything he said. That was the thing. Like everything he said, I completely agreed with. Um, I know people don't like that, but. You can only give a guy so much shit before he explodes, you know? And when he's dealing with all that shit, I, I kind of get it. I think it's interesting that they were stripped of the titles. I'm kind of wondering where they would go from there. You and Lord Shimura taught me to ride. <laughs> On that runt pony. <laughs> you sat so tall and straight in your little saddle. Like you were the Probably the guy that was talking who was at the trial versus the WWE doctor every day. Ah, Nick, yeah, the Nick Houseman guy, yeah. I have no clue. I mean I think what I think what Punk said was 
completely, you know, like true and like what what he feels. Um, I do think Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. I mean, I, I, I completely agree that Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks and you know all John Moxley and the guys they made AEW. They, but they also have like secured themselves like a position where now they have their own little click, and they. You know, have been doing this shit for a while now. You can tell by how long the Bucks hold the belts for, fucking how they win everything first. So like, I just remembered it was out here you nearly killed your uncle. What? It's madness. You were three or four. I'm a fan of all involved. That sadly is what hurts the most. I'm a fan of all of them too. Like that's the thing. I'm not. I'm not a big. My mm. uncle's black eye took weeks to heal. Mm. <laughs> I like Kenny Omega a lot. I like CM Punk a lot. The Young Bucks to me are great wrestlers and they do really cool shit in the ring sometimes. But just apparently what I've gathered, the way they carry themselves outside and how they do business can be very clickish. And... I definitely agree with what Jim Cornette said about how there's a lot of these California kids that kind of made this group. And if you're not with the group, then, you know, they get all fucking butt hurt. They're like, oh. And I wouldn't want to deal with that shit either. I'm not a child, Yuriko. Gather flowers for your mother. Bring them to me, young master. Your plants. Good. We extract the seeds, crush them, make a paste, and dip the needles. Make sure the dose is strong. It should do what you need. It's done. You're sure he came this way? The old woman has a camp around here somewhere. Oh yes. shit. Someone's coming. Stay there, Yuriko. Let's see if this poison works. You will regret what he did to Sodomine and the others. I just want his head. The price that goes with it. How much farther? You <laughs> Oh. Damn, dude, these poison darts are dope. Want to use more of those? Are you hurt, young master? It did mo open my uh, it did open my eyes up about Cabana though. All the stuff PM or Punk said isn't stuff you lie about because you're angry because it was all very particular and he wasn't and he went into specific. Details. Cabana sued first. Feels like he wanted one last suckle from the CM Punk heat. And imagine all the stuff Cabana said backstage at independent shows in AEW before Punk. Dude, I've always known, dude. Ugh. Don't worry. I've I always don't... known fucking Colt Cabana was a snake shit mid, not even mid tier, fucking shit tier too. wrestler. He's never been good. He's fucking. Will wrestle the indies for the rest of his life. He'll be inside fucking high school gymnasiums. His theme song fucking sucks. Just everything about him sucks. Like, you can just look at that guy. There's people that you can look at. I have this ability. And you can just see a person for who they are the second you see them. And he is just fucking filled to the brim with bullshit. That guy's a bullshitter. He's just a, not a real person. And I could tell that way before any of this was out. What, that was one thing. Is like I could legitimately tell before any of this happened. Tell it like 10 years ago. Like, Cole Cabana is not a good guy. He's a fucking weirdo. I always respected Cole Cabana for the stuff he's done for the independent wrestlers and wrestling. But it's crazy that people won't even entertain the possibility that he might be an asshole. Nah, dude. I've always known. That fucking 
that song too. God damn it, that song used to drive me so crazy. Boom, boom. Like, the fuck, dude? Like, sounds like I'm watching like a fucking Nickelodeon children's show when he comes out, dude. Like, Jesus. Punk is an asshole and wears it on his sleeve at least. Yeah, he's a fucking out, out there asshole. I get it. And I like that. I respect it. I'm fine. You to go. I, 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 uh, you know, I have that in common with punk. They were flowers. You remember them, don't you? I just, I just don't. Planted at your family cemetery. The Coke band just rubbed me. He's always rubbed me the wrong way. Washing the graves. Father made me hold buckets of water from the lake. He knew it would make you strong. And then to find out he's been just fucking sucking money out of CM Punk is. Yeah. Spider lilies. That fucking line that CM Punk said that oh it, like Tony's like oh man you know like and he's like nah Tony you haven't made that much money yet but you know Vince McMahon and fucking Cole Cabana have made the fucking most money off of my fucking name it's like Jesus fucking Christ. With enough spider lilies, you can craft a poison that makes rats go mad, tear each other to pieces. It's awful. It's for a good cause. Just make it strong enough to work on men. If you think it's necessary, I know exactly where to find what we need. This way. This part of the forest. I do need to check something really quick, though. Child. After your mother passed away. I refuse to believe she was gone. Give me one so second. From home and came here. Your mother I will be right back. I searched until Gotta check on that cat and dog. Kept shut. Make sure they got food and water. Be right back. All right, I'm back. My bad. Checked on the dog and cat, and then I went to the bathroom real quick. Oh.
I'm not gonna lie, I think Tony Khan, beyond coke or something, he looked like it at the press conference. Tony Khan is not a coke head. She was gone. If anything, Co Tony Khan lost. does Adderall. Like, days. I don't think Tony Khan's a coke head like everyone <laughs> thinks he is. I've never seen him so angry. Angry at himself. I looked at details of Cabana's first lawsuit today. He attempted to sue for at least 1.6 million. And with Punk saying he dropped the lawsuit after he found out he shared a bank account with his mother. That makes you think. I think Tony Khan has social anxiety. Um, I agree with that, yes. Wonder what your father would make of the ghost. He would disapprove. I would, but yeah, I would agree with that. So sure. Hold on, let me read this again. I looked up the details of Cabana's first lawsuit today. He attempted to sue for at least 1.6 million, and with Punk then saying he dropped the lawsuit after he found out he shared a bank account with his mother. Hmm, makes you think. I don't they know, dude. Often. I don't know. Kazuma I don't, I don't know. Too rigid. But I do agree with Tony Khan having some sort of anxiety. He didn't know what to do. Like, you could clearly tell that Tony didn't know what to do in that situation. And I felt really bad for him, to be completely honest. Like, what was he supposed to say? Like, oh, Punk, sh well, I mean, what he was supposed to say was, Punk, shut the fuck up. Like, you can, we can talk about this later. You don't need to be doing this on a fucking live press conference. That's what he was supposed to do. But not every person can do that, you know? Like, I get there's definitely... And you can tell, like, Tony... Especially when he goes out lot and when he talks to the audience... Um, when he talks to the audience, he has kind of a... He attempted to shut it down? No, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. He didn't attempt to shut down anything. But Punk shut down his attempt. No, I, I, I wouldn't even say that. Because that's the thing, like, Tony just kept letting him go after that, you know? Like, I get what you're saying, but that wasn't no shut down attempt. He was just trying to honestly maybe calm him down. Like, oh, I should have... I should have said something about Nick, you know, I shouldn't, uh, you know, but, uh, I, I don't think he was trying to shut him down. He let him go. He definitely let him go off. He just didn't know what to do. I think that's the last we see of an AEW presser. I, I, yeah, yeah, that's definitely possible. Definitely possible. I can agree with that. Unfortunate, those were the, those were always entertaining. Yeah, I, I always never had a problem with them. Um, honestly, this is probably the most successful presser they've ever done because of the events that happened. So I don't know if they would, I think they're going to keep everything going. I don't think they're going to stop doing pressers now that. I just thought of that. I don't think they'd just stop, you know. And there's certain things that you stop and there's certain things you don't stop. Like, you can't just stop doing press conferences because of one guy, you know? Like, that's kind of fucked. What about all your other wrestlers that, like, could get some time to speak to the media, you know? Like, that's not cool. I don't think they're gonna stop doing press conferences. The WWE one was straight embarrassing, but we're not talking about that. The, that was, that wasn't even a thing. I mean, like, the Triple H thing was like pretty legitimate, but like the rest of it was just weird. And Roman staying in character was probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like, I'm not even playing, dude. Like, it was fucking lame. It was cringe and lame. Get your ass out of here, sir. I really wonder, like, especially with someone like Roman Reigns in, like, real life, I really wonder what he actually thinks of himself. Like, does he really think he's, like, the fucking best wrestler that's ever lived type shit? Like, I, I'm genuinely curious. I know that's obviously what, it was totally in character and everything when they did the press conference. But I'm just wondering, like, how far does he in real life take that shit? Like, I don't know.
buddy. The reporter who talked to Proudly tweeted about it. Uh oh, Proudly tweeted about it, which is completely fucking whack in my opinion. Yeah. Well, I mean, you literally could see. Yeah, dude. When when you watch the press conference after he asked the question and Roman walks out like there's a there's like a bunch of guys giving him like fist bumps and shit. It's just so cringy and lame. It's so weird. But I I will say I will say Carson. The press conference was super cringy. I agree. But I, Clash at the Castle wasn't bad. It was entertaining. I was pretty entertained throughout most of that show. Um, it was yes. kind of impressive. It's safe to look for the. We'll give them that. Why would we look for them here? Isn't this where you used to plant them? Oh, I think my dog's eating something that she's no, not supposed not to be eating. Not really. It's been so long. They're in another cemetery. Just kidding. Your she actually was eating her toy. I just accused her of something she didn't do. Terrible. Yuriko, do you remember I was five or six? I had a nightmare about this forest. A fight. It wasn't a nightmare. I told you it was to keep you calm. I also think that legitimately... I remember men shouting. Our retinue was returning home. This, this could be just like... Like I said, there, there's a small piece of me dangerous. that thinks this is My a work. Frightened. Obviously. I think there's many people that think this is a work. There's a small piece of me that thinks this is a work, and this is kind of the style that AEW wants to like portray now. I think, I think they want people to think like, "What the fuck is going on?" Uh, because it it gets news, it gets press, you know. I, I think they know that. I don't think they're dumb. I think AEW's really good at marketing, and I, there's just a piece of me. There's just a fucking piece of me. You told me to pretend that, that was a rock, and that all I wanted was to swim. They might have pulled something incredible <laughs> off, but I, I don't know. Join That's like some, I, it's some real, like, honestly, if that were the truth, that means AEW is like trying to go like Marvel with it, where they're like planning out e 10 years of fucking of a storyline. But the show ended in tuple, or the show ended in typical WWE style. Happy endings for fans are one in a million for the WWE. This would be all-time moment for the get maybe yep i agree drew should have got yeah drew should have got the championship i completely agree but they used that message to be another uso and then they had him fucking sing american pie yeah i i will completely agree with that i i will i will say everything was good until the ending you're, you're not wrong i will i that ending was fucking terrible it was really cringy and like you can't have Tyson Fury fucking sing it again. Like, the reason why that was so awesome when Tyson Fury did it the first time is because it was so out of nowhere. But, like, to just have him do it again, it was like, all right. It is why I will never watch again. Hmm. All right, all right. I mean, I still think there's good matches other than, you know, the Roman shit. I, I don't really care about the Roman storyline, I'm going to be honest, but... I do enjoy just some of the other stuff. The stuff they have going on with uh, Dominic Mysterio right now is fucking hilarious. I like that. Whatever's going on with Dexter and The Miz, I don't, I don't know. They're, they're small things. And it has improved a tiny bit since Triple H took over. Which isn't surprising. Obviously, it's a fresher mind on something that needed to be changed a bit, but definitely. Dominic Mysterio might be the worst resident in either major company. I I, I might agree with you there. I, I I when I watch him I do not care about him at all. The cemetery isn't far. Feels How are you the son of a lucha legend and are that fucking bad? I, I'm like I said, I completely agree with you on that. I think what's going on with him right now is interesting. I don't think he's good in any way. Um, just the other night on Monday Night Raw when he came out with uh, 
Rhea, Rhea Ripley. Everyone started fucking, like the entire crowd started screaming fucking, Eddie's son! Eddie's son! And it was fucking, it was dark. It was, it was they may break stone. pretty funny. It was pretty fucking funny. The memory of these warriors. Please gather the spider lilies. I can't bear to look. That shit made me laugh so fucking hard. But I think they also might be like, I don't know. There's a piece of me that thinks that they might be like setting up something to that. Like, they're gonna actually try to claim that he's actually Eddie's son, or he's gonna claim that he's actually Eddie's son. I don't know. I definitely could see them do something stupid like that, but. He's gonna, be like, Rey Mysterio's gonna go up to Dominic and be like, You are my son! You're not supposed to be doing this. He's like, I was never your son. Enough to make the poison, but it was the Eddie son the entire time. Like I don't know, I don't fucking know. But it could be funny. It could be funny and dumb. And I like funny and dumb. It could be dumb. Do you have any opinion on the Thunder Rosa speculation? Thunder Rosa, I can care fucking less about. Like, legitimately. I have no clue why she was champion. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any opinion really on it because I just never really cared for her in the first place. I still think Hikaru Shida is getting fucked every fucking day in the women's division. Um... I don't know, man. I, I mean, what, 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 what's the Thunder Rosa speculation? What, like the sandbagging or like what? I, I let me. You got to get me up to speed on this one. I remember, like, yeah, there was like the sandbagging issue or something like that, where everyone was claiming that she was sandbagging people, and then she's been getting injured. Rosa had a great connection with the crowd, but actually, she was a terribly disappointing. Yeah, yeah, she was a really disappointing champ. I'll agree with that. I completely agree with that statement. She had a great connection with the crowd. I agree with that, and I have no problem with that. But she was a really bad champ. This is gonna be long, so bear with me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, I'm here. Quickly, I'm here for it. I haven't even been paying attention to the game. Hallucination dart. Shoot the blowgun. Sends enemies into a violent rage where they attack friend or foe alike. I'll stay here. Dude, this game's still introducing new features. Jesus Christ. How is this game still introducing new stuff right now? Wild. You know, yeah, let's stand off. Let's go. Start with a nice standoff. Dude. Go. Let's go, bud. Oh, you fucked up so bad. You too? You too? more bow kills did I kill like everyone oh no did I kill everyone already oh Ooh, look I wanted that bonus damn it damn it I wanted that bonus I 
All right, holy shit, we got a lot here. Let me get to like back to her real quick. I thought we rid ourselves of those pundits. So, Evilis uh, has claimed that Rosa always worked stiff, and if you crossed her, she'd attempt to legit hurt you in the ring. Evilis got got let go. Fast forward to this summer. With the sandbagging, sandbagging marina stuff, breaking Jimmy Hayter's nose, and supposedly hiding in the bathroom to avoid confrontation, and supposedly faking an injury to avoid losing to Tommy Storm. I would not be surprised about it at all. Any of that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be surprised about any of that. Are you tired, Yudiko? No, Lord Sakai. Like just judging by how Thunder Rosa's championship run went. It wouldn't surprise me if any of that was going on in the background. It really wouldn't. Because she was not interesting at all. Like, she was terrible as a champion. One of the worst. Um, I, I just bring fucking Britt Baker back at that point. Like, just stop it with this. Um, if you watch Dynamite later, pay really close attention to the commentary during Tony Storm's match. They were very complimentary on how Tony Storm handles herself, calling her a professional, etc. Mm. I watched the beginning of Dynamite tonight. I didn't watch the rest of it. I had it on for a while during a while I was on stream, but it was distracting me. But I definitely saw the beginning. I saw Tony fucking strip everybody's titles. The MJF and Moxley promo was fun. Do you remember, young master? We pay our respects to the Shimura warriors buried here. Nice. Then spend the afternoon writing poems. I remember, Yuriko. Let's write one now. Hell yeah. We about to write a fucking poem, bro? Oh, haiku. Well, difference. <laughs> Reflect on permanence. Damn. And moving mountain, story ambition, unbreakable walls. Oh shit, Chris Jericho. Unbreakable walls, endlessly flowing water. I like it so far. Unbreakable walls, endlessly flowing waters, lords and clans vanish. I like that. Really can't wait until we get the true story of MJ for the from Memorial Day until Sunday. Wait, what? I really can't wait until we get the true story on MJF from Memorial Day until Sunday. Oh, I guess that's true. If you really gave him a raise without signing into inception, it might be the biggest mistake he could ever make. Lords and clans. Definitely true. I really don't know what they're going to do or how any of it's going to work or if it's all a work. I don't know. The greatest of us fall in the end. We should return to Omi. I'll stay a while. I know better than to argue. Good. You learned something today. Kazumasa used to say Lord Shimura was too concerned with that castle the strongest point on the island the faux baby face promos was master old stuff to be honest it was pretty good i i enjoyed it a lot i i'm like i said on twitter i i truly think mjf has the opportunity to become like the biggest wrestler ever i really think that i just it just depends on if either company could pull it off stay rooted stand firm he can be the next fucking Ric Flair, dude. Like, he really could. All that immovable rock. It was refreshing after a month of PG Punk and Piggy soured on me. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. strength we need is all around us. I have one more place I would like to visit, my lord. When you're ready.
All I know is this fucking mission was long as fuck. Holy shit. That was a long mission. And I don't even know really what that happened. I know I got the goods from her and stuff like that, but... Jesus fucking Christ, dog. I'm just trying to... And there's so many parts of the map that I have not seen at all. That's so crazy. Literally just like Red Dead 2. It really is. There's parts of the map that you will not see unless you actually choose to go there. And I love that. But I'm also like, fuck, man. I gotta get through this game. I'm not trying to go search for everything. I just gotta keep going. Preparations are complete for a battle that reclaimed Castle Shimura. And defeat Kodo Khan. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's do this then. Speak with Lord Shimura. What's the closest place I can teleport to? Can't do that. I'm interested to see what happens with the video game now. Punk is front and center on the cover. He's in the game. Omega was supposed to go to the Tokyo Game Show next week as well. I really don't know. A lot of things are up in the air right now. If this is all real. I'm gonna keep saying that because I swear to God, there's a there's a piece of me that really thinks this is honestly a work, but I don't know. I think the game will go just as planned. I'm still wondering what's up with the FTR situation in that. Did you do you have the background on that? I heard something about FTR. They're not gonna be in the game. I don't understand what the reason for that was. Like, can you? Go and promote the video game while you're suspended as a performer. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Because, like you just said, he's suspended as a performer. Maybe he's not suspended as an executive. I. I. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Being real. Would you like to see what I have? I definitely agree with what you're saying. I understand that it's interesting for sure. Goodbye. Supposedly their animations and a few others got fucked up during development and they're going to be DLC. Hmm. That's weird. That's weird. Their animations got fucked up during development. I wonder how that happened. I wonder if Kenny Omega had anything to do with it. I don't know. There's, you know. Don't get me started. Thanks to your efforts, we have an army to reclaim my castle. I told you, you know would have come through. I'm already. But I mean, payment. that is a DLC people would buy. I can totally see that. The Shogun's reinforcements will be here. FTR soon. said themselves they got the explanation the and we're fine with it. All right, all right. Must okay. Must new problem. That's, that's cool. cool. My scouts intercepted orders from the Khan, addressed to Duzo. They're fucking. They're lucky they accepted it. Our seven star FTR is about to fucking bite Cami Omega. Double bite. You do not have to face him yourself. He was my friend. I will deal with him. Do what you must. Our forces will be ready for battle when you return. Wait, what? They're gonna they're gonna send me for Ryuzo first, and they're not gonna. Hmm. Something's gonna happen then. They'll headline a you know ROH pack. I think they were removed in the spring, which lines up with the tag title match and whatnot. Some had a sign that said the elite. Some had a sign that said the elite, and it was a huge bite out of the. Damn. Beautiful. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We can't take everything. What are you leaving? I wonder how Bacha Mania will be handling this. We'll get you new tools on the mainland. All right. Before I move on further with this, I'm gonna take a quick second to just hang out. We've been talking wrestling, so and I know I haven't been paying attention much to even what's going on in the game. So you know. Oh my hair! It's so bad getting worse 
All right, I, I don't know though. Are are you gonna, are you interested in the AEW game? Someone edited together a fake Dark Side of the Ring up. I I I put it on my Twitter earlier. It was fucking amazing. The the dark of the oh god, the Dark Side of the Ring episode that someone made. That was so good. That was so fucking good. When it cut to when it cut to BTE, and it like did like the dark side of the ring like filter over it so you couldn't t it was so good i fucking died i died it's just you and me talking we scared everyone off i mean there, there's six viewers in here there's someone in here hanging out but you know we we always have a couple lurkers villain or depaulo fell asleep or you know all the good stuff um i mean lurkers are very much appreciated I'm excited for the game too. I, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. I loved the idea. Like a lot of people are like mini games. I was like, dude, that's that's pretty cool. I like how uh, I like how some of the mini games kind of look like Yakuza mini games. Spicy's fucking chilling. What up, Spicy? I didn't fall asleep this time. See, Spicy's kicking it. I liked what I saw with the gameplay of Gamescom. Yeah, I I think it'll be interesting. I think one thing I. As much as I hate to say it, and I, I prob I'm probably wrong. It's just some of the animations look a little jerky. Like it looks like some people kind of just go like, like you know, like they, like they. Sometimes people like the there isn't like a lot of animation to the game, but I also think that's the point. They're obviously going for the old school kind of no mercy kind of feeling, but I think you can make it look smoother. I think, but it, it, I, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to try it out. I hope they have a good season mode. Some conflicting stuff on the entrances with have, which has me worried. What what do you mean? What game? Uh AEW Fight Forever. Uh AEW the wrestling company is making their own game. It comes out supposedly soon. I have a feeling it's going to get delayed, but Ruby, what are you doing? Ruby is being bad. Ruby, stop going rogue. No going rogue. Ruby's going rogue. I never played No Mercy, but from what I've seen, people say the gameplay matched up with the spirit of No Mercy and people are happy. No Mercy is probably one of the better wrestling games ever made, but it's also because it's a very simplified wrestling game. It was just kind of like the perfect thing. Beyond, welcome back. Good to see you. We're just talking shit right now. Taking just a small break from Ghosts. Been playing it for like four hours straight. Just taking a little bit of a break. I'm talking a bit about uh, AEW and uh, the new game that's coming out with them. Yeah, but it, No Mercy, No Mercy had a great seat. Basically, everything that you've seen in wrestling games for the ra last twenty years have been from No Mercy. Like the season, like the cutscenes where fucking you know all the shit happens, like the backstage brawl stuff. All that shit was in No Mercy. Thoughts on the Steam Deck? I'd get one if I didn't have a laptop already that could play games. That's my thoughts on the Steam Deck. I think the Steam Deck's a really cool piece of tech. I think it's capable of doing some really cool shit. If I didn't have a gaming laptop already that is capable of playing everything, then I would totally get a Steam Deck. But there's no reason for me to get one. Um, it's a really cool console though. And I really hope they keep building on that. I think portable PC gaming is fucking awesome. And the like the capabilities of it are even better. Like being able to bring a PS2 emulator or a GameCube emulator anywhere you go. Play it with a controller on a nice like little portable console is awesome. I hate playing emulators on cell phones and stuff like that. So... I, I think it could be really cool. Um, I'm interested to see if they keep going with it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm curious if there'll be a Steam Deck 2 or something like that. The Steam Deck has potential to be a really great device. So if you watch that gameplay video with both Omega and Cole's entrances are like 10 seconds long each. At the Q&A, Evil Luna said they shorted the entrances, but the producer of the game said they have all entrances, so it was confusing. Huh, that is weird, and that would suck if the entrances were really short. 
I don't know. I don't think they'll do that. I think they'll have entrances. That would be really shitty if they had cut entrances. Some ordinary games did a video the other day and showed his Steam Deck playing San Andreas. It was a trip. Oh, you can do fucking anything on it. It's awesome. Like, the shit I've seen people do on Steam Decks, especially like Linus Tech Tips, they've done some cool videos on the Steam Deck. Really cool. Are you into VR stuff? My friend gave me his old PSVR and I've been playing Skyrim VR and it's dope. I have an Oculus, uh, I have an Oculus 2 or an Oculus Quest 2. I, I love VR. I don't play it as much as I'd like to. Um, but it's really incredible where they've brought it so far. I know the old THQ WWE games had three entrance options, off, short, or full. Hopefully it's like that. Yeah, I, I have a feeling it's just like that because the THQ WWE games were made by Ukes. There's going to be a lot of similarities. Ukes is going to be using a lot of the stuff that they've learned from previous WWE games. Um, but yeah, I really like VR. Um, I, I've been using VR, honestly, as a way to work out. Um, Thrill of the Fight on VR is fucking amazing. Uh, I am talking about Oculus, though. I don't think that's on PSVR. I'm not sure. I don't know if Thrill of the Fight's on PSVR. But having an Oculus Quest and having full motion, like, I'm not wired to anything. It's, it's amazing. I was going to buy a VR headset because I have a few racing games, but I just didn't see the point. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. No. I would wait a long time before that until there's maybe racing games that are made for the Oculus or like, you know, for it. I, I've seen people do the sim stuff where they have the steering wheel and they put the fucking thing on. It's too, that's too fucking much, man. You're really going through all that trouble to go play a fucking game, dude. Like, that's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm not going through all that work. Like I, I have a racing sim, I have a racing sim setup, and I don't want to fucking set all that up. That's that's too much work. Um, I don't even use this racing sim setup either. Fucking Christ, it's an awesome feeling playing like shooters and shit. It, yeah, like VR. Like I said, I play this VR boxing game called Thrill of the Fight. It's, it's one to one. It's fantastic. It feels great. You get a real good fucking workout, cardio workout. It's if you're really putting your fucking, you know, all into it, it feels awesome. They have Resident Evil 4 in VR. Super hot is amazing in VR. There's really good games in VR. Right now, shooters are kind of like the big thing. Because I honestly I feel like VR right now is kind of in their like arcade kind of time crisis era. Like VR isn't super crazy right now. It's kind of like the beginning arcade station or stages. Is Jacob old enough to play Ghost of Tsushima? It's that's a good question. Um, Linus Tech Tips got sold, sent a whole sim rig and review and didn't have a clue, and they didn't have a clue in Fury. Yeah, I, seen, I saw that episode. Super hot makes me feel like a badass. I'm scared to try Resident Evil Seven. Resident Evil 7 in VR could be fucking crazy. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I'd love to see that. Um, they said they're going to do San Andreas in VR, but I have a feeling that got canceled after the whole Grove Street Games thing and uh, Definitive Edition. Good to see you, though, Smoothie Blend. It's been a while. I know you only pop in every once in a while to talk some shit. Millions of motherfuckers are talking shit right now. Um, but yeah, VR, VR is super cool right now. I, I'm really excited to see like what's next, see how much further this can go. Um, Steam Deck is an awesome platform and I hope that it grows more. Maybe one day I'll end up getting it, but I don't know. Nah, Marky Boy said he loves GTA. What? Huh? Huh? But yeah, I, I'm I'm extremely excited to see what happens with VR. We'll see what happens with the Steam Deck. Maybe one day I'd get one, but like I said, I, I bought this laptop, so there's not really a reason for me to get a Steam Deck, honestly, at all. Like, my fucking laptop has a 3080 in it. Like, I don't need no fucking Steam Deck at the moment, but 
I, I totally see the use case for it. And I'm sure a lot of people are enjoying Steam decks right now. Like, just being able to bring up entire PS2 library and everything. Mark Zuckerberg said that he loves GTA San Andreas and he played it all the time. That's why they chose GTA San Andreas. We'll find out. I, I don't... I don't know what's going to happen with San Andreas VR. I don't think it's really going to happen. I, I really don't think San Andreas VR is going to happen. Um, especially after what happened with Definitive Edition. Because I would assume they would have took that work from Definitive Edition and made a VR version. And we all know how those fucking ended up. So I, I really don't think they're going to try to do that. I'd be really surprised. Um... Yeah, I'd be genuinely surprised. I gotta grab my ashtray. God damn it. Gotta grab my fucking ashtray. Oh. I'll be right back. The deed has been done. And Andreas VR was almost announced almost a year ago in Radio Silence Sense. Yeah, that's also why I think that we won't be seeing that ever. Um, and with Rockstar like basically saying that they're not working on anything else but GTA 6 right now, I'd be really surprised. But then again, it was announced a few weeks before the Definitive Edition, so I think you're right about that. I, I think, I really think what Rockstar was thinking was, we'll take the Definitive Edition, we'll make a VR version, and it'll be great. But they just had no clue that the game was shit. I really don't, I, I really wish we could know, like, the true story behind what happened with the Definitive Editions. Because basically all I've gathered is that Rockstar gave it to this small studio of like 25 people like i'm not even playing grocery games is small as fuck and they didn't even check on them like they were just like hey here's the fucking date and if it's not fucking ready by then we're still fuck it we're releasing that shit so we're releasing it if people don't like it, it's your fucking fault you know like that's how everyone looked at it like everyone blamed Gro grove street games which I found really fucking rude, to be honest. There was a lot of people, like, sending death threats and shit to, like, Grove Street Games and shit. Like, it wasn't their fault. Like, you give a fucking small studio 25, like, a project, hey, remaster three of the greatest games of all time and don't fuck it up. What do you expect? Like, what did they expect? Like, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck they were expecting. I really don't. I. It's sad. Grocery Games used to be a mobile game developer. Man, has already been a year. What the fuck happened? Exactly. Exactly. We're almost already out a year since Definitive Edition's been out. Didn't they do the phone versions of 3 Vice City and San Andreas? Indeed. Indeed. They ported the mobile versions. Like, that's what they were known for, you know? And they were like, hey, remaster, like I said, three of the greatest games of all time. You, no one can do that. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that is not their fault. It's Rockstar's fault, man. Like, I honestly really do feel bad for that studio. I really do. Um... I don't know how you recover from it. I don't think they ever will recover from it, honestly. They're, they're apparently making, like, mobile versions of Ark. You know, that game Ark. Uh, yeah. That whole situation's really fucked up. And I think Rockstar really fucked the shit out of them, man. And it looks like their contract ended. But I assume there'll never be another update for Definitive Edition ever, from what I've gathered. Um... Because I assume their contract for their, their work is done. And if anyone's going to fix the game now, it'd be Rockstar. But I don't think that will ever happen. I really don't. Uh, Rockstar has not been in good 
braces for a while now. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, we're just talking shit about Rockstar. Well, I was just taking a break from Ghost, so it's just we're just talking shit about random stuff. The mobile versions were never released though, and they were supposed to release months ago. Yeah, that's another thing. Those will never release. I don't think those will ever. I don't think you can get those games to run on phones. I really don't think you could. Uh, or drum grocery games did the PC, PS3 360 version of the San Andreas. I remember what a disaster that was. Yep, that was a mess too. But yeah, they're it's they're fucked. I don't think we'll ever see a definitive edition like patch or anything again that's been dropped completely. And uh there's the OG versions of there's the mobile versions of the OG versions though. Vice City got taken down. They delisted Vice City. So just three in San Andreas now. Rockstar posted a thing thanking the community for all the support of GTA 5 and GTA Online. Yeah, I saw that. There's a legit admission where you'd have to pick a specific route or else the game would crash. Fantastic. Beautiful. And wait, what's going on with GTA 5 Definitive Edition? What? I don't know. What's going on with it? I have no clue. You tell me. Wait, so or I I don't know if GTA five expansions are done. I don't I don't think they are. I'm not sure. I think maybe certain teams are done. Something like that. I don't think they're done updating GTA five online. I think they're just basically saying like, hey, all of our like major teams are did you see this thank you message from Rockstar? Yes, I did. I saw that. Yes, but I don't think they're done with the game. I think they're still gonna do updates. I think they probably put they probably took the majority of the team still working on online and probably moved them to GTA Six Online or something. But I still think there's a small team on GTA Online that's probably gonna be cranking updates out or just small like very small things. But yeah. I think we have a high announce or high chance for a GTA 6 announcement next month. Mm, nah, I don't think that. GTA, I, I don't think GTA 6 is going to be announced anytime soon. It wouldn't make sense. They've already announced that they're literally like kind of just now fully working on it. I don't, I don't think they're, I don't think we're going to see an announcement for a while. GTA 5 for Xbox Series X and PS5 was a crock. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was $10. I mean, in the end, it wasn't really that bad if you got it when you were supposed to. <laughs> got it when you were supposed to. What a world we live in. Um, Rockstar would never give up on GT Online. Yeah, I, I, I still think they're going to they're gonna keep busting updates in there. Legit, if GTA 6 get re reviewed to Universal Acclaim, I'd be stunned at this point. I wouldn't be stunned. I'm not like sitting here thinking Rockstar is really going to fuck this up. I think they still have something there. But. There obviously is now, which hasn't been there before, a piece of you that thinks like, oh, they might, <laughs> you know, like they might fuck it up. But I, I still think Rockstar can pull this off. I I do. Not gonna lie, it was nice to play GT Online without 22 FPS. Yeah, like it's nice. I, 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 the the new versions of it are pretty good. Like, it's it's smooth. But you know, eh, eh, that much better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Know. Ten dollars is nothing though. So it's like, what are you? The last D update was in March, though I haven't played them since December so I don't know how much better it is not much better it's not much better they did fix stuff they did there's stuff that they fixed but it's not much better I think they're gonna fuck it up I have no hope for games lately and I don't think I will wait for a long time and I don't think I will for a long time dude I've been loving Ghost of Tsushima dude I 
I've been playing games on my backlog that I've been meaning to play, and I've been happy. Like, I'm playing games that I should have fucking played a long time ago, and I'm really enjoying them. There's games that are good still. I know there's this, you know, world where people want to believe that there's no good games at all right now, but there's good games out there. But once again, I say this to somebody who enjoyed playing the D. I played through all three of them on launch, you know? Like, I, I didn't hate them like everyone else did. But, you know, I still prefer to play the originals. And that's just me. I'm glad we have a game drought. I got, got so much shit to play. I mean, that's where I'm at right now. I'm literally playing my backlog of stuff that I never got to. What's the game that's been on your back burner that you want to play most out of all of them? It was Miles Morales. I, Miles, Miles Morales sat on my backlog since the PS5 came out. And I was really glad I got to that. This is another one, Ghost of Tsushima. I'm really glad I got to this. But Miles Morales was the most excited I wanted, was to play a backlog game that I hadn't got to. Um, still really need to get to Elden Ring. Still need to get the Yakuza Like a Dragon. I still need to get to the entire Yakuza franchise. Like, I've played a bit of Yakuza 0, and I never finished it. And I, I really want to get into the Yakuza franchise. Um, especially now that there's like eight of them, so there's fucking plenty of time. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a few things that I need to get to that I'm excited to play. Definitely. But it just... There's so much shit. Gran Turismo. I need to play way more Gran Turismo 7. They haven't really shown a damn thing in regards to Gotham Knights, and that game is less than two months away from release. It doesn't sound good. I'm not interested in that game at all. I'm really not. I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested in that at all. I really want to see what the new Need for Speed... I really want to see the new Need for Speed. I really want it to be good. I, I would like to see the new Need for Speed as well. Gotham Knights, what the fuck is that? It's made by the people that made the Batman games, right? I think. Supposed to be like some, you know, I don't I don't. It's fucking superhero shit. I don't know. Some shit. Gotham. Batman. You know? DC game in the vein of Arkham Trilogy. Yeah, it's basically, it's going to be a clone of those games with just different characters. And I don't, I don't got time for that. Batman Arkham City without Batman. Exactly. Exactly. I don't got time for that. I just fucking finished Spider-Man, dude. I'm not trying to play another fucking superhero game. I know it's obviously a Batman game, but still, yeah. I, I, I think, like, what is it? Like, Harley Quinn and fucking just Batman characters. I don't know. Batman people. Batman people doing Batman things. Yeah. And wasn't there like a Suicide Squad game supposed to come out? What what happened to that game? Fuck that game too, Jesus. The game looked uninteresting as fuck. Nightwing, Red Hood, and Batgirl, I think. Okay, alright. Delayed. Mmm. Mmm. Because it looks like shit, that's why. Like, yeah. There's a separate game called Kill the Justice League? What? What? Let's see. That sounds more interesting. I like the Justice League. As long as they got Green Lantern, though. They better have Green Lantern. Oh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Oh, 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 oh. That's less fun, then. I'm not excited, then. You, it, it, the second you say or Suicide Squad, I'm like, I'm not interested. Not interested at all. It's like, yeah, let's get a bunch of superheroes that no one gives a fuck about and make them care about them so we can sell some products, you know? Like, I just don't care about those superheroes. I think I came across your channel and the lead of the release to DE. You were playing Vice City Stories. I feel like I remember you from, like, Red Dead, though. I don't know why. You weren't part of the Red Dead runs or the Red Dead 2 stream. Suicide Squad is overrated. I completely agree. I really do. 
think a lot of the DC stuff has been weak for a long time now. Yeah, that was a few weeks later. Mm -hmm. They're more like anti-heroes or whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, it's just dumb. It's dumb. You did that around Thanksgiving, early December. God damn, dude. That Red Dead 2 run was a legend. A legendary run. One day people will understand the greatness. One day. Thought Carson was here before me? I have no clue. You know how hard it would be to remember each person and when they came in? That'd be a lot. Oh shit, there you go. That's how you find out. Boom. Follow age. I forget that shit even exists. <laughs> I really do. All right. We got to get back into this game. One more for the road. November 9th, 2021. Oh, shit. Legit two days before the Defender Edition released, and I was looking around on here to see if anybody was playing it. Mm. There you go. I want to send you something to possibly rea react to. I don't, I don't have my PC in, on the stream right now. It's the PS5. I can't really watch something on stream unless I... Italy dude with a bunch of shit. You were legit the only person that wasn't playing five. Yep. That was my goal back then. That was my thing back then. It was a lot easier to play GTA Vice City and stuff back then. Again, or again and again. Played it so many fucking times, man. You're leaving. That's why I've honestly moved on to like doing... Explain. Random stuff in my backlog and random games. I need your help one last time. I found Ryuzo hiding in Fort Koyasan. I can't. Please understand. I spent my life working for this. Going to bed hungry. Risking my neck so we'd have enough money to start a new life on the mainland. I can't give up now. I'm not asking you to. Help me defeat Ryuzo, and I'll see you off myself. This is your battle, Jin. Not mine. All I want, all we need is to start a new life. Jacob killed all the other streamers that streamed other GTA games that weren't Thank five, you. so he could be the only one. Fuck. For everything. I wish. I hope you find peace. But no. Nah. You too. My lord. Listen to your sister, Tucker. She'll take care of you. Goodbye, Lord Sakai. If it wasn't bitching about fog, he was just playing the game. I can do this alone. Under cover of night. Alright, so we're gonna go fucking smoke Ryuzu apart, apparently, because you know, Ryuzu fucked up. Instead of joining the fucking Shimuro clan, he should have fucking, you know. Well, he wanted to feed his. I'm coming for you, Ryuzo. It wasn't really that bad. He just, you know. We're on the move. Just don't worry about it. We're on the move. You seeing this shit? Are you fucking seeing this shit? Look at this shit. Look at this shit! God damn it! It looks too good! Get the horse. Get the fucking horse. Thank you. What's up, Jason? How you doing? Alright. Where are we heading? Up the hill. Let's go. We're going up the fucking hill. Let's do this. I 
they're gonna have an opinion that literally everyone will agree with. <laughs> water is greater than salt water. I mean, only opinion because I gotta go to bed. Mr. Boss, or the wind is awful. I mean, yep, you're not gonna get any argument here. You're definitely not gonna get any arguments here. It's literally just dribble. Like, it's not even. Oh, shit. Guys. This is it. This is where fucking Dutch is hiding. What the fuck? This is the mountain, man. This is the tower. Is Dutch in here? Where the fuck is he, man? Going to Tahiti. We're getting fucking mangoes. Where's he at? Where's he at? Man, it really does look similar, doesn't it? Like, kind of just like the mountain area, I guess. That's pretty much a really... I don't know. I had a flashback. I had a fucking flashback to Red Dead 2. It was fucking... I had some... I had some fucking PTSD shit go on right there. Where are they? Where the fuck are they? They killed Jason! Jason! Cut some bamboo. Got him. I like this mini game. This is a funny mini game. Ah, oh, I had it. I had it. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This one's going to be rough. God damn it. God damn it. I'm going to get it. Yes. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Got that resolve increase. Fuck yes. Got six resolve now. I can't fucking touch this shit. See you later, Dutch. God, that game. I'd love to play that again one day. Not probably anytime soon, but one day I'd love to replay Red Dead 2. What a fucking experience. It's not like that's the craziest thing about that game is It's just how long it is, and it's not like it's like if a movie was 16 or 20 hours long and you couldn't step away. Like, that's how good that fucking game is. It's incredible. Madness. Where am I? And why am I not going the right way? Oh, I was, kind of. Fort Koyoso, a nest of traitors. A nest of traitors. Better scout the fort. And also the thing about getting the Xbox Series X makes it so we can play Red Dead Redemption 1. That was what the that was what the plan was, which kind of sucked. I really thought we were gonna be able to emulate it, but when we finished Red Dead 2, it didn't work good enough. You give us away. I won't let you do this alone. If you now won't come with you, then I have to. You're not trained for this. In Yarikawa, you said we can save our home if we stand together. I stand with the ghost. This is not a good idea. I can't pit you against Mongols. If anything happened, at least let me create a distraction. This is not a Draw good idea. Some of them away. Even the odds for you. God, his character model looks so fucking good. It's ridiculous. All right. But when they chase you, ride back to camp as fast as you can. I won't let you down. Why does Taka look Go. better than I I'll do? Like, he has a way better character model. He looks amazing. Oh shit, he's about to mob on him. Dogs! Mongols are nothing but ugly dogs! I'll ah! Samurai, you're here. The samurai will come for you! Ha <laughs> You mongol dogs. That's right. Just look at the leaves blowing, dude. Jesus, goddamn Christ! 
looks too goddamn good. We got like the yellow and the red contrasting. It's fucking goddamn. So they just emptied it all out? Like, I'm just walking up on this? Or how's this working? Am I really about to just go through the front door right now and just be like, yo. Cause I know this has to be a trap, right? Well done, Tucker. Now get back to the I know they're expecting this because the Ryuzo guy and the other dude were talking some mad no shit. He must be behind the gate. We got some guys here. Be careful. Hear you. What? What are you talking about? And you speak. Do doodly do. Oh, is he coming over here? Really? Is he gonna come all the way over here? Please do. Oh, he stopped. This guy's coming though. Hey, how you doing? Do it. Oh, I couldn't get through. I gotta get over here. Did no one notice that? Damn. He didn't even notice that. Here we go. Oh, I missed it. Hey, man, why get the light on fire? I gotta learn that move. What move do I got here? Oh, is that the bomb? It is. Let me finish him. Not a big fan of arrow guys, so I choose to take those out first if possible. And then, whoa, hey there, bud, you still up here, huh? The fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know you can do that. What the fuck? Did he just die? What? You can light these on fire? He's on fire! Holy shit, I had no clue. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ah, you fucked up, boys. We chin music off the cliff. Yes. Yes. It was great. It was glorious. Get back here. Oh, that was glorious. I love this game. You know, when it comes to both of the GTA Vice City games, I can't get over the two year transformation of Victor Vance. Yep. It's very true. Not great. And how much of a fucking dumbass he is. Incredible. I guess that's my main issue with him is how dumb he is. He's dumber than Lance is. Incredible. Keeps doing shit. Do I make my entrance? 
Alright, so I assume this is gonna be a fucking fight. Realistically, I'm just gonna save. Just just cause why not? This is a big point. Fucking go. Let's go! But I know this is gonna be a trap. This has to be a trap, right? Fusel, it's good to see you. You know why I've come. Yes, I made sure you'd know where to find me. The Khan wants to meet you. I'm not here to talk. You betrayed us all. We can save our home together. It doesn't have to be like this. Yes, Fusel, it does. Ow. Yeah, I, I, I figured it was a trap. Lord Sakai. Lord Sakai, please wake up. Taka. How? You were gone so long. I knew you were in trouble. I came to help, but the Mongols caught me. <clears throat> Damn. We have to get free. They're going to kill us. Only if we let them try to get loose. I don't think we're getting loose. Just need to loosen this. Yep. Taka, be brave. You must be thirsty. Arag. Milk from my favorite horse. The final gift to me. She broke her egg yesterday, so I fed her to my men. We do what we must, Lord Sakai. Uh -huh. That's why you and I are both survivors. Oh, fuck. I am samurai. Fuck is so screwed. You are more than that. You are the ghost. Damn right. Convince your people to join me, and I will give them peace. We will never serve you. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't seem to really be getting that, but you know. Your uncle. Oh no! Don't do that! Don't They're do the same thing. Oh, oh God, Taka! I'm sorry. This sorry, Taka. I refuse to be your slave. This isn't my fault, Taka. I had nothing to do with this choice. I too have pride in family, and I know what it's like to live in their shadow. Why should we settle for scraps when we deserve to be legends? He is a legend. Hmm. See. Your people will follow you. Join me and save them. You want to divide and conquer. You did it, Diviso. Not us. Oh. Your legend does not even care about you. <clears throat> you kill him. You can go. What a maneuver. What a swerve. Don't do it. Run. What are you crazy? What are you out of your mind? You could have ran. Oh, now you're fucked, man. Now I gotta explain this to your sister. God damn it. Uh. Holy fuck. Your friend died for you. Now I must find another, and you must choose again. Damn. But Okana is fucking pretty legendary. I'm not gonna lie. What a move. What a fucking move right there. So is the assault still gonna happen? Like is Lord Shimura gonna come in and save me or? Oh shit, he just got no head, bro. God damn.
I can break these cuffs. You're not gonna break those cuffs. I can break these cuffs. I need my sword. I did it. Holy shit, that's a lot, dude. I have no weapon. It wants me to go across. Someone there? I'll take a look. He's muffed. I thought it was something. Better to be safe. Nothing to try. Someone's out there. Come here. Where, where am I even supposed to go? It was literally right there the whole time. <laughs> it's the only problem with their little wind thing and stuff. Like, it just fucking told me it was right there or something, you know? Jesus. Alright, well, let's fucking get it on. Isn't that too bad? I think I killed that guy? I didn't say I killed him. I don't know what happened there.
Damn, they really did just chop his head off and leave him in the mud. Some fucked up shit. You know, I'm gonna have to explain that to you. Oh, whoa. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, sir. Where are you going? Hell no. Show mercy. mercy? There's another one? Is there another one? Oh, I better not find another one of you. We're just hunting the dudes down. I don't think, I don't think there's another one. Unless he's up here or in this dojo. But I don't think so. There might be supplies in here at least. Sticky bomb. No. Absolutely nothing in here. Oh God. Uh oh. Oh no. Jin. Oh no. I just saw the cotton right out of the Ruzo. Oh no. Westaka. Oh God. I know he's here. Oh God. He left a message saying he'd followed you. Where is he? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, wait. Uh oh. Taka! He dead is. He wasn't supposed to be here. Why didn't he listen? He he dead dead. Oh. No! Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. So like his head, like we can put it like in, the, we can put it back with him, you know, I'm not going to look great, but. He tried to make you proud. Mm. He wanted to be like the ghost. Oh, you're making it my fault. You shouldn't have made him come. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, he came. The fuck? I tried fuck. To stop him. What the fuck? But he wanted to help. He came on his own accord, by my fault. Son of a bitch. Don't be putting this shit on me. That's stuck. Oh shit. She's about to go fuck it, Super Saiyan God. I'm not leaving him. That dog out of the way first. It can be annoying in the middle of a sword fight. Don't let anybody run. I really gotta get that move. Wow. 
Those parries are not working at all. What the fuck? All right. This wasn't even letting me block or anything. really doing that a lot huh all right it's like it's not even detecting that I'm hitting the block button in kind of annoying the last of them. The Star Hats are finished. Use us alone. He's still alive. With the Khan. There's nothing more we can do here. I need to bury my brother. I'll help you. I never meant for this to happen. I'm sorry. I swore I'd give him a good life. Keep him safe. This isn't your fault. It's mine. No. It was the Khan. Rizzo. Every Mongol on this island. Help me kill them all. Help me avenge Taka. There's no reason to leave anymore. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Except stay. And fight. You should go to my uncle's camp and get some rest. I'll meet you there. Was Taka brave? At the end. He was always brave. I got a whole nother mission.
Mm. Hmm. I'll probably finish this up tomorrow then. Probably the best move. Hmm. Yeah, we'll call it a night for now. I'll check what the armorer has and then we'll call it a night. This will protect you. Nothing stronger. Ah, uh, you need more to make these improvements. I look absolutely ridiculous now. Fantastic. Perfect place to end it. Um, okay, let's see. Ruby's gonna go off at the perfect time. And then the mask. All right. Yeah, that's how we'll end it. We will be on tomorrow, so I'll let you guys know. Oh, everybody have a good night. <laughs>